support to the uh, teachers or teacher education across the India and even outside India internationally renowned mathematician and uh, he has uh, involved in many of the activities of uh, NCERT, you all may be knowing, many of you may be familiar with Professor Abubu Singh Ji. Uh, he was the head of uh, Department of Education in Science and Mathematics, uh, NCERT. And uh, he retired from NCERT as Dean of uh, Academics and having contributed in different areas also and uh, had a place in the NCERT community and internationally, nationally, in the venue of mathematics education. He contributed uh, many to our nation by uh, in the development of the curriculum, test books, the development of different teaching learning resources and just I would like to now uh, focus, highlight the uh, very important contribution given by Professor Mukunji to our nation is I think but the uh, initiation of the development of mathematics kids and uh, we all know mathematics is a subject of uh, commonly known as an abstract thing and how we as a teacher can help our students to concretize the material uh, mathematical concepts, mathematical principles and formulas and the uh, best way to uh, concretize is using different uh, hands-on experiences, exposure in the form of activities using different uh, mathematical models. And he conceptualized that at NCERT and now NCERT has lots of different types of kids for different levels of teaching of mathematics starting from early mathematics till senior secondary level and the contribution of Professor Hogan Singhi in that area is uh, very, very uh, uh, commendable. And uh, on behalf of all uh, the participants and all uh, assembled into this online mode, I extend a warm welcome to Professor Hogan Singhi for this particular session on uh, learning resources for mathematical pedagogical process. When, I, uh, when he uh, is going to give a plenary talk on this particular session, I just would like to now focus one more thing is that this is a passion of Professor Okun Singh Ji and preparing different learning materials and whenever we have an uh, no opportunity to meet him or in any of the training programs or any of the workshop or the activity, the first thing he will be you know, uh, focusing on is how we need to have lots of uh, teaching learning materials Hence, uh, that will help our students to you know, see, observe and manipulate so that the learning in mathematics will become easy and I feel uh, today we will be going to discuss all those things covering different resources that can be developed even at the school level by the teacher or the, even the students we can provide support to the students also to develop such things and since he is also focusing on low, uh, low cost and no cost teaching aids and even NEP 2020 conceptualized the different activities like uh, our own indigenous knowledge and indigenous games and sports through uh, te uh, for teaching mathematics also. And I, I hope that his uh, plenary lecture will be focusing on all those aspects and this will be very, very beneficial for all of us. Uh, I, uh, I think uh, uh, since we have time up to 3.30, uh, Sam will be focusing uh, his uh, lesson, uh, plenary lecture may be up to 3.15 so that we will be getting uh, uh, at least 15 minutes for interaction with Professor Kofun Singhji also. Now I will ask Professor Singhji to initiate his uh, plenary interaction. Over to Kofun Singhji. Thank you, Dr. Vijayanti, uh, Professor Sri Khan, Principal of Harai. Dr. Madhu, coordinator of the program, my colleagues in NI and CRT, my colleagues in uh, other RIs. I think the forenoon session, Gopal was there. I don't know afternoon they are there or not. And uh, most beloved students from RI, my school, uh, uh, they are there, what I am seeing here. And other participants, delegates from different parts of the country. At the outset, I express my sincere gratitude to Professor Sri 
Rajiv Gandhi and Madhudi for inviting me to give today's keynote address. I am very happy that the first decisions uh, national conference on mathematics education and the first national conference on mathematics education was at night and I a headquarter when I was Dean Academy. Because you know why I started this first mathematics education? Because wherever in the, as a member, a life member of Indian Mathematical Society, life member of Science Congress and other society, everywhere there is a talk about mathematics only, mathematics and higher mathematics. And no conference was there in our country which were highlighting about the mathematics education. And therefore I thought that if we can initiate a national conference on mathematics education, I think a lot of interest could be generated among students at the school level also, also college level and university. And all of you will be happy to know when Professor Rajpur uh, Dixit was for some time was director of NCRT, he asked Upam Singh was night for national conference. So that national conference was, this is very important to all of you, especially my colleagues who, and I, how new things are started. It's very, very essential. So that in future they can do something more. Which is not that Upam Singh can do only. So, then Professor Achita, and at that time we have a great national conference in this collaboration of ISI, Delhi, uh, and you know, Professor uh, Sinclair at that time there was there, Atiya was there in ISI, because some problem was there. And when Professor Sinclair was there in 2012 as a director, and then we took decision that let us organize our, our national conference, and she gave all the support, Professor Sinclair, and he was director in CRT, and we started our first national conference on mathematics education. And I am extremely happy and very grateful to all my colleagues at NIE and all our five RIE that they are continuing this national conference on mathematics education and today it is the 10th national conference for in So I am very happy because as a surviving after retirement of eight years and something you have started and is continuing, continuing it gives a great pleasure. The second I initiated about mathematics laboratory, what Dr. Gajan mentioned. You know, I joined NCRT in 1988, and for two years I had to understand NCRT because I was doing higher research of mathematics, leave group, leave algebra, remaining money for five years abroad also, action of leave remaining money for balancing money for. But when I joined NCRT, I decided also to do mathematics education because I was CBSC, I taught already 10 years at university level, Delhi University also. And when I joined NCRT at the age for two years, I had to understand about this. And from my, uh, the, when I was interacting with the teachers and the students, the fundamental concept in mathematics, in all branches of mathematics, was very, very key. The way I study, the same way they were also, also teaching road memorization, chalk and chalk method. And then I decided that if we have to change our pedagogy, we have to adopt new strategy. And then at that time, again, we had to face problems. Because in CRT, although physics lab was there, mathematics lab was there, chemistry lab, biology, my math lab was not there. And the space problem was there. And about four years I, ha I had to study for getting the room in CRT. And in 1996, 1996, when Professor K.B. Rao was head of department immediately, as a mathematics person, he, both, he told Dr. Singh, you have been talking since many years about the space for math lab, and he provided space for math lab and formally we started from about math lab in 1996, 25 about We divided in 90 itself and ultimately we established math lab in NCRT. And you know since then our RI Masur also, RI Gopal also, they are having very good time and RI Matpeh also, Professor is doing some hard work to establish there and I don't know situation about the uh, math lab in the um, North East. So although I was invited when Dr. Garg was there, then I was invited and gave the idea, but I don't know what is the position there. And Dhoni sir also I don't know. But I am very happy that besides the NINCRD, our R.I. Masur, Gopal and Ajmer are doing wonderful work about the mathematics, about the maths lab. And why do you know, you see, Dr. Vijayan already mentioned that unless we change our pedagogy, unless we our process, we cannot make anything. When mathematics was developed, you know, it was it was considered all the time that mathematics is an abstract concept. Mathematics is an 
inductive and deductive nature. I am now spreading, I do not contradict that definition, whatever all of you are using. But I am giving, giving a different perspective about, about mathematics. And for that perspective, I am using the three statements. And that I have started from two universities. The Central University of Gaya, in March, March this year, when I do webinar only in fact, with all India teachers at the university level, and the Central University of Jammu also. And Vice Chancellor was so excited that he announced that Dr. Sri, you have studied us already, spread math lab in all parts of the country, now you finally establish math lab in our university also. So Gaya Central University also, and Central University also. So my mission in future is that, you know, to that level, to take at that, that level. Then only we will see that mathematics is not a difficult subject. And therefore, since that, these two universities, I have been giving two definitions. Three, three statements. Number one, you also, you students also kindly know, mathematics is the most easy subject. Kindly spread that. This is Hukum Singh statement. Mathematics, and you will visualize during my one and a half hour presentation. Mathematics is most easy subject. Number two, Mathematics is a practical subject. All of you are abstract, abstract, deductive, and interview of the school, college, university. You have a professor interview, however, I do, 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 I and during this my presentation, you will see that if you do mathematics in a proper way, activity with your hands on, that my, uh, through the roti, then I will ultimately convince that yes, mathematics could be considered as a vocational subject. So before starting in detail, since our national policy of education 2020 has given number of recommendations, already my former colleague mentioned. Dr. Rajput mentioned that number whatever recommendations for the national focus to, when that was the national focus to teaching of mathematics, Dr. Ramanujan was chairman, and I was member secretary, and very good recommendation was there. And for new lecture, you have already good people invited to that lecture, but still it is very unfortunate in our country that whatever recommendation we make in national government framework also, that it is still being not properly implemented in the our classroom. So, in new policy, or in the new policy again, although we have been talking about India's heritage of mathematics, contribution of Indian mathematics here, although we have been talking, a lot of contribution has been made. But what has happened, it has gone, not gone to the classroom. Wherever I have been going to university also, college also, and I have the names of my friends, you know, what is the importance of mathematics? You will be surprised to know not more than five names of Indian mathematics in that sense. Everybody thinks that everybody, everything was imported from Europe or America, but mathematics is a subject which we have given to the world. Starting from number system, it's algebra, geometry, mensuration, even calculus. Dela gave the foundation, Dela mathematician gave the foundation. So first of all, I highlight about the importance of the mathematics through Shloka. It is a national conference. If I, if I don't mention any Shloka, I think it would be a uh, had for a successful completion of the conference. So about the importance of mathematics, and again, this is our national policy of 2020 has recommended that we should also highlight our India's contribution, India's contribution, India's heritage element. So from heritage, from basic literature, I am mentioning that importance of mathematics, <coughs> and that is the form of Shloka. And that Shloka says that, Yatha Sitha Madhura Naam, Naga Naam Mario Yatha, I don't know how many of you have heard, but wherever I want the country, 32 states I have found, and wherever I say, uh, almost like one, we have forgotten our heritage, and therefore it is very, it is very good that our national education policy 2020 has highlighted that we should highlight the contribution of Indian mathematics and data knowledge. So this was given in our Upanishad. Yatha Shikha Madhura Naam Naga Naam Mario Yatha Tad Bad Vedam Shastra Naam Ganita Mudam English, especially our high students, I think very nicely they will understand. Like crest on the heads of Kika, like jumps on the hoods of Dovara, so I have mathematics on the top of all the Vedam Shastra. Humare Arai Bhopal ke loog agar hai, to jis tarah se mor ki sobhav ke mukut se hoti hai, Dovara Saap ki 
की शोभा उसके सिर में स्थित मणि से होती है उसी तरह से प्राचीन काल में विज्ञान की शोभा घनी से होती इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द मैथमेटिक ऑलरेडी अबाउट थ्री थाउजेंड इन अवर वेरी क्रिकेट एक बार आदि की मैंने बहुत बढ़ती है पार गाते हैं बहुत बढ़ते हैं बहुत मिस ऑल एवरीथिंग वाज मींस मदर आप मैं पच्चीस बार मदर आप बढ़ती थी मतलब मदर आप साइंस मदर आप कोई ना साइंस मदर आप मदर आप में टेक्नोलॉजी मदर आप इंडस्ट्री भाई होकुल सिंह जब थे मदर मैं Ram Ram Sita Ram Parak Adar, you know that some of 
फालतू आंसू भी आज जगह पाया है राम राम सीता राम देते हैं निमान देंगे इसी के साथ आंसू सो दिस इज आंसू वेरी वेरी एसेंशियल बार आल ऑफ यू टीचर्स आंसू गवर्नर्स आंसू एंड डेलीगेट्स आंसू टू यूज दैट नोबल थॉट नोबल आइडिया आर कमिंग फ्रॉम आवर लैब दैट आई थिंक वी शुड एक्सेप्ट इट एंड इफ दैट थॉट्स आर कमिंग जनरली इट इज सेड दैट इट कंपनी इज कमिंग फ्रॉम ओवर माइंड इट विल आर वेरी गुड नो इफ इट एलिवेंट आइडिया आर कमिंग फ्रॉम ओवर माइंड आर समे पैरेट आल्सो दिस इज रिजेक्ट That is the meaning of that is the cast of this stroka. We take it. So this is the one of the three stroka which was has been number of stroka in Sanskrit has been given. But these three stroka are very dear to me and I used to cite uh, uh, in the Kerala teacher training program out of the country because they are very relevant for our teachers also for our dharma also. Now the third part I will cover about the learning. Now I come mainly to learning resource. All of you know that. ऑर्गेनाइजेशन But few learning resources. What I would I would reflect here on one by one. They are very very important. The first one already I mentioned that the learning resources of the our students. Our students are very very some of the public schools are very very talented students are there, and some students are better than your teacher, and we are not utilizing their resources, and therefore. We should utilize that resources in the as a learning resources for my people's pedagogical task. The second resource, very important resource, parents. You know, our scientist children are also studying in school, college, university. Our doctors also, engineers also, mathematicians also, scientists uh, children also studying in school, college, university. But what I have observed during the last thirty one years, the student is at home, learner is at home. And if parents in mathematician or scientist or doctor or scientist, they will say that my teacher is correct and you are wrong. So this tendency has also to be changed. You are all of you are learner, all you are teacher, delegate, resource person, and these our RI students and other RI students they are going to become future teachers also. And if this also invite around them that they will go by. And if their parents are doctor, engineer, scientist, whatever they are, they are and they are knowledgeable. Their knowledge should also be given important, and they should learn. Sometimes what it happens that we as a teacher may be wrong, but parents are correct. But parents' knowledge ignored in most many places. I have seen that parents' knowledge are ignored by the our learner, our teachers also. So this resource is also very important resource that we should not neglect. Another type of Who are writing different types of resources? Another type of resources are our pedas. You know, I'm very sorry that thirty, twenty-five years I worked in NCERT, but at that time I had no knowledge. I had no much knowledge about the pedas. Although basic materials I prepared seven, seven, eight lectures. Professor Nimi Rao was head of department, and he was lot of parliament questions was there. I told Professor Dr. Hukum Singh, he was young man, and he lectured and prepared what is the basic materials. TA. And I prepared six, seven uh, uh, sutra on the Vedic Vedas, sixteen sutra, thirteen sub sutra, and general lecture about the Vedas. So that is also so. The Vedic Vedas is also one of the resources. But at least up to eight class, we should not highlight about the Vedic. That is also very. That was the very controversial also Vedic Vedas. But we can consider the Vedic Vedas is also one of the resources and in Vedic Vedas as well. Because some of the sutras are very very detailed in India culture. And some of the sutras are very very important for enhancement of our computational skill. But definitely, it should not be started at my in my view. It should not be started at primary level. It should be at upper primary because fundamental, four fundamental operation and number concept first of all has to be understood. So square root, square root, and geometrical shape and that thing has to be understood. Understood. Then only we should start. So basic mathematics is also one of the resource. The Veda language, the before basic mathematics Veda. The Veda, you know, fourth. I I was means that uh, unable to introduce some of the motions of the Veda. 
when I was in the academy, I had some of RPG, but I had not much knowledge about it. But when I was invited about the National Conference in the Department of Sanskrit, Delhi University, in this, in this September, October itself, and I was asked about India, uh, ancient Indian mathematics and about Vedic literature. And when I learned some literature, I read some literature about the Vedas, I found that a lot of knowledge is given in our Vedas. All of you know that Vedas is the source of knowledge. It is a treasure of knowledge. All that, of, it is not, Vedas are not on magnetic literature, but almost all branches of knowledge, scientific knowledge, mathematical knowledge, social knowledge, geographical knowledge, astronomical knowledge, uh, uh, astrological knowledge, all types of knowledge originated from our Veda. And for Veda, although I have not deep knowledge, but still I support that from National Conference I did. And I said with that will lot of mathematical knowledge is also given. Number concept, partition of number of what Amazon worked on partition of number. But it was already some of the partition of number already mentioned there. One, one half, one four, one by eight. On my city, I read, I read that it is already, and four Veda, I can go to the young Dabdhata, so if you see the four Veda, Dek Veda, Yajur Veda, Sam Veda, Atar Veda, we will see that about the number, about the operation, about the, not partition work, but one by two, one by three, about the fraction, about the real number, 10 power 18 even, the area of the circle, pi i, pi r square, again, pi into a, b, a, b, the diameter, half a, b, q, by pi r square, so the pi, multiplied by uh, square of the diameter. That, 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 that is also available here. Multiplication operation in some way, the third way also that of mathematics is clear. But what has happened, that has, uh, that has been forgotten. Because it is about 5,000 years old. So those who are very young, and number of literatures and book books, and very good libraries are there in R.I. Masur also, other places also. So finally, treasure is there in our Veda also. That is also very good resource material. Because those students who are in the age group are 20 and 22, and they have 50 years, 60 years, I am 70 years, and now if you start to use that resources, I think a lot of change, a lot of impact you can leave on in different parts of the country. So Vedas, one, and that ancient power, and then Vedic Mahathari 7, Vedic Mahathari, you see this Vedic Mahathari book is there, Vedas are quick book, Number of books are there in Vedic literature. So I purchased also the whole Vedas, but what I was interested that I could not find, so I have to purchase the other type of. It is not Sanskrit but Hindi, something even, but my physical reflection was there, but I wanted to show you, you can purchase those Vedic literature where Sanskrit Sloga is there and their meaning in English are Hindi is here. That also. And in some of the many are my school, some library also, and all the literature they will be there are in Vedas also, means different places. And the second is about Vedic Mahatma by Swami Bharti Krishna Maharaj. It is a but Vedic Mahatma that has no nothing to do with Vedic Vedic, not Vedic 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 Vedic. Lot of controversy has been created about this, but some sutras are very very important for our computational purpose. So this is also one of the resources for our our enhancing the national knowledge. So Vedic Mahatma by Swami Bharti Krishna Maharaj, published by the Banasi Rao, Banasi Rao. It is published by. Mokira Ramachika, so those who are not friendly of the is very much happy by it. Swami Bharti Kirti Maharaji, Swami Bharti is again an Indian genius. He was taught in seven subjects, in the English and the Rao Virati, and he generated the 16th Sutra. But definitely when I get this in detail about Veda, since four fundamental operations, number concept, fraction concept, pi also, area of the cycle also, bigger numbers also, even there, in our Vedic literature, and maybe after using that Vedic literature, Swami Bhagavad Gita generated the 16 sutras and 13 sub sutras. So this is also a beautiful resource for our learners also, or for our resource part. I know that I thought the fourth person what to do. I told you that when we established my lab, so first of all, we brought the cyber material in 1998. And that cyber style material I passed on to CPS. And that at that time, CDSC told me that Dr. Singh, you are talking math lab and science labs are closing down. This is 23 years back. But I mentioned that if something is closing down, it does not mean that we should not start new thing. I know you have to go there, but not I go over We have to my parents as I, I, my school, our five allies and CRT doing in their own way. 
as a technician without fearing anybody in the country and giving a new reflection uh, on when is coming i go or i am interviewed students from our part five are i either school level or college level or university level their performance you will be very happy that your performance is very your students performance is very very good during last twenty years i have gone as a expert and like a uh, as a chairman selection committee during your twenty years and whenever i am taking our ri student i found they are far better than other schools the schools are college or university also that heritage is there with our country so when you see what talking about that you are talking math sir and science sir doing that but i was continuing i have to do i have to fail to go because ncert is in the partners there is no by the way like in the country and i think at this time is math lab ncert and the first handbook i thought that math lab i have studied the math ncert 400 model but how it will go and then that the handbook for the army matric covered in 2005 it was in ncert published by ncert a handbook for the army matric covered in 2005 and you see at that time again one mr gangudi was chairman cbst and he was a member of national focus to our teaching matric and then he passed on this in 2005 in hyderabad immediately chairman cbst mr gangudi sir said that to all cbst school it had every school should have math lab for classes 1 to 8 and then class 9 to 10 and ultimately most of the school started cbst central school also when mr rao again was a district director uh, district commissioner and again when i would recommend that your i brought it to play class 2 to 11 to 12 teacher study program in ncert and there we are so much coming there sir ask my district commissioner commissioner kendra vidyalay so since 98 you can all kendra vidyalay started with the same math lab now the vidyalay student math lab and a very systematic with that so this is the handbook first and book we got in this published by ncert and then and i was heading the department of education science and math in 2006 to track and then i thought that one handbook will not work one to try and then i thought if i was heading so you know some power is always there once you have some power then only you can do anything otherwise so what happened then i decided that we will have one not handbook but three handbook in there so three handbook one handbook i elementary elementary state or of you kindly to go maybe or you are arise are heading Answer is about the manual in mathematics at elementary stage, one to eight. And you see, Dr. Bajaj, Professor Bajaj Mahalwaj, at that time uh, in our poly, uh, poly gun, uh, he took the coordinator seat of six, one to eight. So uh, as a coordinator, number coordinator, he he brought this about the manual in mathematics at elementary stage. Then second, second again, I thought that again nine times about the manual to ask out there. So nine times again. Dr. Maurya was there, and then he was coordinator of ninth and other things. The other team member was there. The second stage was there, and the third stage again. I thought that third secondary batch was also there, and Dr. B. P. Singh was there as a partner. I asked the coordinator seat, so he was coordinator of higher level class matters. So the first just started from 2005, and I was coordinating and then heading the three other team members. Double team on the elementary stage, double team on the secondary stage, double team on the higher secondary stage. Published by NCERT, and they are available in English and Hindi both. Because when English publication was there, and Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, and other Hindi speaking states were telling that sir, you have got in English, why don't you bring Hindi out? So in Hindi media also all these manuals are there. So this is the key. This is the key. Also the source material in for mathematical pedagogical process. The third one, math lab, was there in NCERT, and four uh, means uh, 400 models were there. And uh, I'm sure also number of models you might be saying also. I don't know how much you are using in the classroom. That is not aware. I'm not aware. Bhopal also very good. Doctor Gurg is doing that. I've heard about that and enhancing and using our training program also. But uh, then I thought that how it will go classroom level. And then Professor Chaurasia, who is head of department here, some admit he was in. Medium of education kit, and he took lot of interest, and ultimately, match with the kit at elementary stage, match with the kit at secondary stage was brought. And you see, and then again, I was head in division of education kit also before retirement, and then I thought that eleven twelve match with the kit is uh, not there, so initiated that, and then Professor A. K. Bajrawal was again there as the head of our department in. 
we have our educational field for education. We have a Methodist kit and higher secondary state has also. So these are the resource material. You are already using textbook, NCRT textbook 1 to 12. You are using an example problem 6 to 12. But these are the new laboratory resource material, complementary resource material, I say, laboratory manual, I am mathematics kit, I am elementary state, I am secondary state, I am high state. Even in the elementary one to five also, Dr. Badalwar was there here, classroom, uh, MHRD thought that mathematics is considered difficult. The one classroom project for class one and two are there. And we started developing, Dr. Badalwar was coordinator, we started developing math kit for class one and two. And ultimately, we extended it. But if you are put one in elementary, I told that why don't you extend it elementary state so that we can have a state at primary state 1 to 5, upper primary 6 to 8, secondary 9, 10, and high secondary level. So now we have in NCRT all these kids elementary state 1 to 8, secondary state 9, 10, and high secondary 11 to 8. And all of you who are learner at B at MS level, and who procure all of these manuals and kit, you will be the best teacher in the country and you will win lot of awards. Hundreds and hundred teachers have won awards after establishing my flag. When we established SCRD Gurgaon, they have put my photograph also 15 times, 2004, when I established my flag there and they were talking about two months. They were considering that math is very difficult since 2004. 17 years back they came said, you made two parts of my equipment to help us to print two parts of my in I told that you were not doing about math lab. And when I showed them our math lab, ultimately they started and I gave it about 15 times. And now they have beautiful lab in the RD Bulgon. And it means they have my, by the I am still alive, but they put my photograph on the car, okay. I am giving this idea to all of the country. But they accepted it. And even their results improved. 2014, 4. They are just improved about 23 percent. Why am the math laboratory manual are math kit? Because I am, I, I, I what in the very beginning I saw that told that mathematics is considered abstract, deductive, and inductive. Mathematics is abstract of the type of you consider when you symbolize that mathematics is a practical situation. When mathematics was originated by your ancient Arishi the Munir, it was used for a spiritual purpose. It was used for, for farming yagna. It was used for preparing our, our altar, vedi. And all these vedis and the altars and yagna, all these were involved in geometry. You will be surprised to know that all over the country, our national achievement survey of the state say that geometry is considered more. Dr. Vijayan is witness here. Geometry is all over the country, on the list of programs, different parts of the country, I also went. And when I ask also, National achievement survey already there that when geometry is considered more difficult to learn. And when face to face I also interacted with the teacher, they told, yes sir, geometry is considered more difficult. And geometry you say everywhere, wherever you see, you see geometry only, you are sitting in your room, you are sitting in the chair, you are sitting uh, using blackboard, and everywhere you see geometry either zero dimension or one dimension or two dimension or three dimension. But what has happened? in an abstract way and in deductive and inductive way we are teaching and this is why we say that the geometry is considered. And this is why you say that, you see that our skill is almost zero. When I have a pass high school, only certificate no skill. When BSc, MSc, certificate no skill. And they my 10th class, they don't have certificate, they have skill. Most of the carpenters, you see all over the country, they don't have any certificate, they have better skill than us. And we see all the factory, whether it's square, rectangle, triangle, two point dimension, two dimension, three and all. We are still learning for no skill. We got two job and dog abstract we are learning, and they don't have any certificate they have. They are making our furniture also, they are making our house houses also, they are making bricks also, three dimension, they have all types of the bicycles, motorcycles, everywhere you see the geometry. Some have non equipment geometry. Some have light geometry, some have non geometry. But in nine class, when we introduce non geometry, it is the in the past. So, why? Because we have visualized that my theory is abstract. My theory, we have considered my theory. And this is why, through the math lab and through this manual, we are recommended from NCRT that if you change your pedagogy, I think a lot of change automatically will come. And thought, I have
for, for that change of pedagogy, you have to do. Finally, you also start from zero. I have no hesitation to say that I also started from zero. I am in MSc, I am then DPhil, PhD from Allah, I am a three foreign degree, Doctor of Science from, Doctor of Science from our first year in NCRT, but I consider everything not like why, if I could not use our degree for uh, improving the quality of life, that is Roti Kapra or Mahan. We are having all types of degree, but we are not solving those, using those degree for solving. So this is why this man said, and uh, the first starting point I think I give up that, that first how, how I started my language. This is rough paper I am asking, this is all I am seeing though, this see. Triangle, I took a triangle, and then you see divided to midpoint, I am folded, I am hit chachai. I was so excited, excited 31 years back, oh this was more two dimensional, this triangle was two dimensional, triangle, hollow triangle, the covered area of the Chinese and when he, he, when he sold it, he said, three times he worked. And three times he said, we interacted with chemistry person, he said, see at four. We think, that the head can see it inside, four purchases are there, we think it is also there. So that the head can and everywhere, you are seeing physics also you are using, and chemistry also, and my feeling that the head can also, and seven cars you are using, number of partition minus number of ages, plus number of ages. And you will be surprised that then on my excitement started 31 years by so tender day, then spire day, you go cube, then you what? September day, pentagonal day, hexagonal day, octagonal, 12 bases then taking, they are lying in our own umbrella, made all these models in 90. And when I got this question in CRT, then formally in 1996, we started established my flag, and then different types of one dimensional, two dimensional, three dimensional. So this is why I humbly request to all of you. Finally, you also, you are first class high school intermediate, and uh, all of you are first class at level level will also go, level level also will also be there. But finally, we start from zero. Then only you will learn everything. Because most of the places I have seen interview also, even professor interview also, I am not deciding on it. In one very recent I was there in a central university professor interview, and one expert asking, this may be asked to you also, some of you. If x square plus y square equal to 1 is the equation of a circle, what will be its corresponding equation in the space? This question is being asked by a professor from Sanjay University to the Sanjay University. And I, I want to know the expert. And you will see that the person associated with the was teaching geometry for 20 years and unable to reply. Why? I am not criticizing again. Why? Because all mathematical knowledge has been and through chart and chart and abstract. Not through visualization, not through concretization, not through applying daily life. So again, answer is there, x square plus y square is equal to one equation of a circle, and circle is a plane figure. And circle is, when I am talking circle, so circle means, circle means this circle. Hello. Again, in most of the teacher's training program, we go, what is circle, what is area? Misconception is there because right kind of learning resources have not been used. So circle is a hollow. Locus of a point, path of a point in a place, not in the space. So learning resources you are your correct. Right kind of learning resources, circle you can, you don't put circle in the space, you put circle in the place. So circle is a plain concept. And then corresponding area of the circle is your this area. Cover it, you cover it. So this only right on learning resources when you are to you, then tremendous change will take it there. So this kind of learning resources then, then circle and then corresponding circle if you do give you from circle if you then, then, then different type of type of thinning order also you will be there. And that type of circle is there, area of the circle is there. So if you take the union of the circle, your cylinder is there. And your cylinder is there means this type of cylinder is there. Nothing by me. Right on the resources when it is there. One thing is there, all your mother, mother and sisters using, they use the all these nothing resources. Circle is there, and hollow circle is there, in the union of the circle, cylindrical same is there, but that will be the house. And these are the primary stage also, upper primary, secondary, all these places, you are using all these places, but you use right all these, all these types. And then corresponding area you are taking, take the union of the area. 
and take the union of the circuit. Again, Hadas Linda will be there. So if you take any object, just this is to be marked part time. So I am coming up, but the beginning of the Alevi comes from no cast, no cast. So I will come later on about no cast, no cast. So these are the uh, so material which we are using. So these are the materials that are in the source of material which you have to use for teaching geometry. And once your geometrical visualization is there, you can connect arithmetic, algebra, all the mensuration with that. And I am the type of that in the source of as a part of our kit. You know, when we are at Narada Mindi, I was in the kit of our head. And I was in 2005. A meeting of national curriculum framework uh, in Chennai, and before meeting, I thought that I should go for two papers on attending meeting and uh, giving lecture to the resource person. And I five or eight two hours, and you will be surprised to know about eighty teachers from Tamil Nadu they were attending around my lecture. My five or two hours wait, and five or five o'clock when I leave, and sir, I have about my time to find that can you hold it? And two hours I went there, and at that day I was presented the CEO board. And I go, how you got? I, I could question how you prepared the CEO board, sir. I got this idea from your own CRG, and now you can do this because your model to get three models this one. And how the other one? So I'm very happy that number of manufacturers all over the country have gone to NCRG and visualized, and they are not only multiplying and duplicating but adding up. I do not know that whatever we have done in the CRT, it is exhaustive. It is everything suggestive. All of you will be creating all of new knowledge also. Whatever I had my knowledge, whatever my colleagues had my knowledge, whatever Dr. Vijayan I was there, there are other colleagues here, Pravasya, Vajalwa, T.P. Sharma, and Dr. Gar, other, other colleagues in NCRT, Prof. Prasad, you have hope, R.I. Masur, Prof. Anu Aldi, some names I don't remember, Parandari or Das or many, many names are there, but they are doing good work. But all of you, those who are new learners, you kindly learn all this and then you will make a lot of changes. <coughs> so I have highlighted about the learning resources which are known. Textbook, example problem, the working manual, management is at different stages of management. That might be different stages of learning. This, this is also part of our I become no part of our data. And this is also. All of you, you are going to become teacher. All of you make this data and go. This is local, not raw material made. And when you go in the classroom, be a student, a student, you go in the classroom, do experiment. And you will surprise you whenever I go visit and achieve that with some organization. And you see, I see still so happy. That 10 years back, 15 years back, whatever it is, they are very kind there. The Paya is fired at the Palum of the Stella, one by three Paya is fired at the Palum of the Boom, provided the base and high is safe. That's measuring out. <laughs> and if you combine it, then your missile is there. Your missile is there. All types of missile there. And Ari Bhattarama, Ari Bhattar and other missile are approximate distance they calculated. Now exact distance are coming. And this is why our scientists are doing a lot of good work about this space exploration. And therefore, if our geometry is, will be very, very strong in our country, then we can supersede any country in the world. But geometry is weak, and therefore we are facing a bigger problem. So these are the, these are the part of the kit. Part of the kit, what you are using, and your RI machine lab will be there. It will also be there. Another type of the geo board, I told that geo board also. <laughs> and in this geo board, you see, a plus b whole square, a square plus b, a square plus b square plus b. Then again, I am, I am telling you all, you are very intelligent student. I always said that my teachers are more intelligent than me, and my students are more intelligent than teachers. When I study smart life in CRT. And when I had to prepare model for a plus b whole square, you see what I did? I, I, I prepared a square root of b's, b square p's, two rectangular p's a b, and combined, and got a beautiful, beautiful structure this. a square plus b square plus b, a square 
प्रतिस फायर करती है। But you will solve why? How the subjects mind work together and ultimately come lead to the same conclusion. A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus B square was discovered by Arya Bhatta. Arya Bhatta was born in 476 and in 4 499 he wrote a jitai which is known as Arya Bhatta. I am the age of 23 Arya Bhatta was mentioned in the and even I have a lifetime member of the who go out and 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 go out. This is why our philosophy is that if something is central, whether you go north or south, you will reach some point. This is our philosophy is that you go north or south, you will reach some point. But other Europe in the five years I was zero and they had flat as a type. So flat means the type. Points, lines, plane are undefined. Go indefinitely, standing, lines, plane, no, no meeting. So our philosophy came from there. And Aryabhatta mentioned that Bhubhula, Sarvatovarta. And Aryabhatta worked in different areas. If I mention about this work, it will take one hour. So it was Aryabhatta about in Rajabra. He derived that A plus B is by A is by plus B is by plus B. So I used that abstract formula, identity, and made the model. And all of you, you will be surprised. I was a member for a couple of years for National Steering Committee, Homi Baba Center, of KFR. As a head of department, I was doing a number of couple of years I went there. So after meeting, when meeting was over, I had to go to the library. And I went to the library. You also can be developed. These are the learning resources which you will be discovering all the time. So after meeting, for four or five o'clock, I went to the library to Homi Baba Center, Bombay. And I found a very old book. That old book I found that when Aryabhatta derived A plus B whole square is equal to A square B square to A B, he derived from complete offset. Just I took abstract identity and made the model, and he took the abstract this this A A square B B square to A B complete offset from the same book and derived that. And we are teaching some number of secrets. We are teaching my project in abstract. So mathematics has been derived almost all branches of mathematics. Arithmetic, algebra, geometry, mathematics, scientific geometry, plane geometry, etc. All these have been especially up to three dimensions. What we are confined up to class two level. They have been derived from our nature, from our environment, from our ritual, ancient time ritual, for following Veda, other things. Construction also one and two dimensions are being from and we are not considering that and this is why we consider that mathematics is difficult. And therefore, if we change the pedagogy by using all these learning resources, then I think a lot of change will come. So these learning traditional and known like the manual education I have Now I come to no cost, low cost teaching. Dr. Vijayan Singh here in lesson my lecture. And when he was coordinating in NCRT, he was not hearing uh, one, one period every day he was hearing me. Maybe he was excited to see some, uh, listen to my lecture, so I am very grateful to him. Three days, he just tell me, I have my other three days, he asked me. And then so I covered more, uh, more area. So now I have started, you know, use of no past, no past. Because why I am starting, India is so big country. And we, we are not reaching with our loyalty manual, we are not eating with our kids, and even if we are eating with the kids, even our learners, our teachers are unable to look at it. I am giving two examples. One, I was in Sri Nagar. Teacher Education Department has my children and their son. So I, I, I had to open the kit. And the state government has a lot of fund, NCRT kit they are targeting, and I had to open the kit. Only theory I can again. It's a survey division I invited me. There also I had to open the kit. They have purchased and see our tickets and they are not open and used. Then how our teaching learning will be improved? And therefore, besides propagating about learning material, mathematics kit, now I am propagating all the parts of the country. Use of no pass, low pass teaching aid, far teaching mathematics, arithmetic, algebra, geometry, menstruation. And what are no cost, no cost teaching is? Very, very simple way I am starting. All of you are using. 
You see, all of you are using. You are using. Tanta Kanti. All of you can develop your habit. Then India will change. And then IT will also, you will use IT also for this purpose. And then Hindi goes, Hindi teachers are there using Tanta Kanti. So we are using Tanta Kanti inside phase 2. It's a little form, but you are going to And now I am asking that you that are low cost, low cost is. Low cost means some cost is there. So this is why I told you, Madhuri is a vocational subject. With few more examples, I will convince you that you will consider that to establish a factory and make all these boxes and sell, and you will be selling. Sir, I will provide you a lot of self-care. So this box, and what is this box? This is my medical box. And why is this box needed? Family is safe, safe. Our 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 family is safe, safe. Secondly, state again, if A is a centimeter, B is a centimeter, C is a centimeter, A B plus B C plus C A, total surface area, A B C volume, so this is the answer, dear my colleagues, when you say, higher secondary state, maximize what kind of rectangular sheet we should take and test the partner to make a maximum volume. So maximum minimum volume. So this is simple no car, no car, which means that you use this no car, no car model. Each man can be tried to do a lot of damage to India. And here with it, we have to see other things also. You see there are six faces. This is 3D. If you take the projection, and then when you will be there, the 3D to 2D, 2D to 3D. And the same thing when we put question, four first part, we have 3D to 3D. As a chairman, 15 years, I went to tell you that I know that we did that. What do you mean by 2D to 3D? What do you mean by 3D to 3D? Four first part, we have to do that. I'm not precising. I was also not. So this will be only when you do find some, then you will see that the line is there, the line segment is there, then one dimension because only length comes in. If you go line segment, go on the right in line segment, go on the right in line segment, the line comes in, two arrows will be there, the key point when you are going by bicycle or motorcycle, either you go right way, the way you will be going, both way you are even line you are going. Stopping a line segment OC. So all these things are why I am highlighting this one. Not telling you about the conference so that you should change your origin. And then if you change your origin and better body, then lot of changes out of the country. So this way, one dimension way, then you see that. Two dimension when you are meeting, the collection of line automatically, two dimension automatically, collection of points in one dimension, collection of line, collection of frame. So all the so full visualization of these things. So there. Now all over I see the experts all the time talking about ICT, ICT, ICT. With ICT and virtual will be successful when you are successful as that will come And I was talking in the MSRD ministry also. Do we take virtual food? Do we take virtual, do we live in virtual house? Do we live in a virtual class? And everybody was stand there. So if the, our country is so huge from Pakistan to our population, and our mathematics should be charged in, uh, the dharma should be changed such a way so that we can solve our routine kapra or mama. Where mathematics is needed, where mathematics is helpful. But what we have to consider, we have modern technology, modern technology has to be used, but not in time. I am happy that Professor Ramamidhan also mentioned that, so, so much God, after they thinking everywhere, then, virtual, virtual, virtual. Not everywhere virtual, wherever it needed is to be. It is not that, of a simple problem, we have to use virtual. I used to say that, first you understand the law of science. Then you use the IC, ICT. What will be the law of science to you? What will be the law of science to you? What will be the law of science to you? And you are not understanding science as well. And you are doing IT, IT. What is domain, what is code domain? Not this. Really. So this is why this virtual has to be considered the first few aspects from the daily life and then the The simple thing is also as a part of this English, no past, no past. I am that type of material again. Allah has been in the same. That's the vision has not been in the same. So, but most of us think of the same. What is your? Your? Saving. Safety. Again, it's so safety. 
and um, Sanjit Sarkula Giova and Rajendra uh, Giova separately, but now this model is uh, from both sides is there. Sarkula Giova and and uh, results related to Sarkula you can find it, results related number, geometry, other, all these you can consider here. So this you can look at also. And then three dimensional, no cost, no cost. All these you see, all of you after this thing is, some of you will be tired and you will take a full lap, or you will take a bhakti or something, and this see, this is a bhakti law, which is a famous law. And some, you know, some, uh, first December there was a mighty, some heard and somebody gift check, and I am showing you how you will be using it. The box, the switch is here inside. So switch release, and the see, do you put my credit there? The see, this is entire, entire to why? Entire to why? But how part you can off? Some of you can have it. So if you are interested to do research work, Artisan of the work family or Ramanujan also did that of work. Ramanujan is late, but that's 87 you are born. And lot of work he did, partition of number. And now I, when I was visualizing, the volume is there. And why not partition of volume? ABC volume is there. ABC volume of the DY is there. And maybe A is there, C is there. And B is DY, D by A, D by 4, D by 4. So ABC, ABC by 4, ABC by 4. So it is there, partition of volume. So means this also, Switch material that you can use for demonstrating the shape also, number is a shadow, addition of number, volume concept, surface area concept. So in this way, that also, in no bar, no bar, the money will throw it, in boxes will throw it. So, 90, this color, no bar, no bar, means this my reflection will be to use. And I hear the scene. All of you are very familiar about, about the different types of, again, filter, pizza. All of you are using pizza and joining pizza. And pizza boss I took two days back, I ate pizza and pasta, the beautiful here, boss I put here. I say, what is this pizza? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagon, but this hexagon, 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 but this hexagon is not regular, non regular hexagon. And hexagon, no hexagon top. Why what is it? Hexagon. So, polygon, polyhexagon. So this is the no cost, no cost to you. And now you will be convinced, now you will be convinced that maximum is a professional. All these boxes have maximum cost. And if you make all these boxes, then ultimately, I may type off. Some of my students are smiling, it means they are in point, and they will be very good teachers. You see, again I may type off the C boxes. You will be surprised to know what it is. This is Agarbati box. And I was in Agarbati shop two years back. I saw beautiful geometric structure. Generally, Agarbati box is cylindrical or other. But here I found that six triangular faces are there. And six triangular faces. And again, if you, if you disconnect this with one triangular face. And this is nothing but simply a, simply a prism. Triangular prism. And triangular surface area, triangular prism, volume of circle, triangular area. Is a side is a centimeter under 3 by 4 is by the base of the area, I to calculate. It's so again connect. Tangle is, let me see here, tangle is the shape is there. You can play with the mathematics. How many centimeters are there? Multiply by 3, multiply by 3 by 4, and you may see. And multiply by high value will be there, surface area will be there. And combine all these support, the face and you are combining, so ultimately you are getting. This is nothing but we are using the parties. So we are not asked for that taking it, but generally after using the other thing. So I didn't develop this habit and all of you when you go in the interview, the learners, students who are going to interview and you go with these boxes, you are self-made boxes and explain in the interview, all of you will be selected. I was saying more than we got it two years back and one teacher came uh, he told some you gave me army school uh, orientation level the PGT and he came for principal interview and when I, 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 I told him please explain what I am and he saw that and he got it. It is not that my. I was only expert for his interview but all the experts, principal, commissioner, everybody was convinced. So nice presentation. So this mathematics is job giving opportunity also. Providing job giving opportunity also mathematics. But my dear friends, you have to start from repeatedly all the time.
start from zero, just like the whole thing also started. If I have not joined NCRT, only teaching the CFSC, I have a demand money for, link group action, zero new money for, I could have not got a school memory, and, and learned that it's very hard for us to touch. So this is another type of, again, again another type of no class, no class teaching. See, all of you are male teacher, female teacher, all of you are using this. This is nothing but this is quiet. Even we are using quiet. All of you know? Quiet. So, this is cylinder. And put it to And cylinder to work, quiet is there. Use quiet and it's on. Don't throw the. Use the new car plant where you are teaching that new material. And there is cylinder. And this is good. Okay, cylinder is good. And quiet is good. Now, we are very interesting to know. Those who want to write a new paper, I am giving them an idea. You know, inspiring circle, circling is quiet. All of you might have. Inspiring circle, circling is quiet. And even international consensus, I am in my Europe, 13 international consensus, I am in India. They are also from top class there. They are all the Europeans, they discovered that inspiring circle, but it was already discovered in our school research. Again, my regarding half hour regarding on 1st September this year was made by All India Radio Station, All India Radio, which was by half hour. I have to give lecture on Sulu Sulu, just I explained my material in Delhi University, Sanskrit Department International Conference, same with this also was regarded by All India Radio, Sulu Sulu Sutra I have to give. And Sulu Sulu Sutra is still, that will again take one hour if I start. Sulu Sulu Sutra is firing circle and circling is fire while I leave. By our Bhautan, by our Bhautan, Mahama, Kata, and Abhastamba, Manava, and Pingra. All these Sula Sutra, they work, it is even up here. So this, this also here. So inspiring circle not possible. So again, if you take the, take the union of the inspire, you will get either you or you are. If you take the union of the circle, you are getting a cylinder up here. So if that was the area or not, say, the volume of the, will not be equal to the volume of your cylinder. We are by here. One side is less than another side is less So this is this way no class, no class teaching is you are using and connecting my faculty and thinking my faculty. Again, national education policy 2020 has got creative thinking, critical thinking, skill-based teaching, classroom teaching, experience and learning. All these coming when you do hands-on, hands-on activity, experimental class teaching, everything is coming. This is why I, I say everywhere in the country that different methods you have taught, you have learned about deductive method, deductive method, uh, analytic method, synthetic method, project method, heuristic method, IT method, ICT method, online method, webinar method, all methods you have taught. But you do, if you learn learning by doing method, you will see that all the method slowly, slowly will follow from learning by doing. It's so powerful learning by doing. And if anybody has any complaint, anybody has any doubt, you can reflect because I have, I have worked 25 years in NCRT, Dr. Vijayan is already, reading, uh, already working there. You can discuss with me, I will convince that all methods are coming from activity by observing, by doing that. And this way, in this way, we are coming back. Again, two more things. I think Dr. Vijayan, we are passing three minutes I am taking. So that? Uh, sir, uh, if, we get, uh, if we get uh, 5 to 10 minutes for a discussion, that would be better. You can okay, uh, only a few minutes. Only yeah. a few minutes, because this national conference will may, may not be again after one year, and whether yeah. you can be saved with third pandemic or not. So this is very okay. good. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. no, in 10 years, all the years, I have been trying to convince my colleague, to my uh, learner student, so they get to change their mind. So this is why every year is the first year for me. So just see, again, national education policy has top 20, art integrated, and sports integrated. So art integrated, you see. Beautiful art is there. Many places I go as a chief guest, so art integrated, you see. Inside art is there, but inside art is the same as there. Inside the tank is there, and the walls are in the two white boxes. So art integrated. And the art integrated, that is just see. Again, I use this one to discuss this at all stages of this model I use. Every upper primary secondary, higher secondary, all the same. And your Dhaka Muta is there. And Dhaka Muta is there. We are shaped by your thoughts, what we think we become. We are shaped, not safe. Are you asking? We are shaped by your thoughts, what we think we become. So this way, Dhaka Muta is there. All beautiful art is there. 
Islam subtitles are not clear. But their geometry is very, very clear. Again, I am telling you, all the country what we have adopted with by geometry is considered more difficult. And if geometry is understood properly, then arithmetic also will be connected from geometry. Yes, I told you that if we, if we take the sheet of paper, if we take a year, the sheet of paper here simply, sheet of paper we take, and then we take some centimeter number. Again, that's one centimeter. And all these students calculate automatically. What is the perimeter? What is the area? In arithmetic. Can you come to a level? That suppose I don't know, I don't have a scale. I don't know length of this. Uh, object, two dimension B. So A centimeter, the B centimeter, A centimeter, B centimeter, what is the perimeter? A plus A, B plus B, C plus C. So in the MIR uh, about perimeter, 2A plus 2B only. If a square is there, so 4A only. If an area is there, square, A square. So through visual, through online method, if you teach your arithmetic also, algebra also, through activity based method, and slowly, slowly, Start from their daily life mission. Daily life with which they are familiar. Daily means they are familiar. Mother is familiar. And ask learner to ask mother also safe in your class. You are teaching online. The learner is your student is sitting there. Ask her mother also to sit there. And mathematics is a, such a subject. But if you teach learning by doing through visuals, connecting object with concrete. We will see that mother will also learn. Because they are grown up. They have been taken to the class. They have already passed high school. And by some of them are lecture, some of them are non-lecture, but I don't know. You will be surprised to know, I am not praising time in all minds. I was giving lecture at Army School 15 years back in Lucknow. And the principal told her, oh, NCRT, you are a real only teacher. Hindi teacher, they have put Hindi teacher. And when my primary, primary kit I demonstrated, and Hindi teacher was telling, sir, I can teach now in mathematics also. Right. Municipality here, municipal. Delhi also came here by my principal uh, lecture I was giving. All principal so I can teach now mathematics. What is problem? We are teaching through chalk and abstract. And it is good at, 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 this, at, at this time, you are away from chalk and law. And through visualization, and it is not that you are visualizing. Ask your learner also to put visual in their mind. Just like I told you, if you have this kit, if you have this two QI, two thought, two space, you have in your mind, ask all your students to have in their mind. Just like when we do yoga, when master do, when master does, we also immediately one day or two days we learn yoga. But when is also like yoga, if we perform activity, child also perform activity, automatically they will understand. But what is happening? We are performing everything on our chart down, our verbally, but the students are not. And once the student will be doing, then you will be observing us. Whether they are using the wide in hand, or cube in hand, or penta hydrogen in hand, or after hydrogen in hand, or during a hydrogen in hand, I have to start a graphic side, they are having. So you will also be. So whatever concrete material you are using in your hand, let our learner also have. And then you will see. 100% attainment, attainment will be there. I'm, you have already heard from our Rana Mangan so that all at least all the students should be encouraged to attend the class of the math. Math is not typical subject. We have made it typical. And this is why these sentences, again I repeat, kindly ask the student, if you are a mother and father telling my very typical, my very, no, I have to spread myself, my very is a normal city, my very is a practical, my very is a vocation. If you pass on this clear statement given by Hukum Singh, then you will see not by boosting my name, but only that NCRT professor has told, then I think parents will also follow and learners will also follow. If NCRT say something, they are convinced after having 50 years experience there and I'm convinced. And those who are not convinced, you can pass on to me after having phone number from your Dr. Madhu. Right? Another question. Hope you are, you are satisfied. Oh, yeah. Arnaji, yes, is sir. Arnaji satisfied with my answer? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, one question came through chat box. Okay. Yeah, from uh, 
I remember Padima Devi. Uh, could you please throw some light on innovative ways of assessment in mathematics? <coughs> in innovative ways of assessment. Ah, innovative way of assessment. Very good. Good, answer, good question. Innovative way of assessment. Just I am here, although time to the father of time. Often model I have to be made as a father of time. I have to find life. I was particular when made model was made. 20 years back when I was getting this often model. And I took the help of Dr. Uh, Jinjitar. Although he is no more now, but he was also very creative. And he helped also in making this model also this often model. And you see that uh, assessment also. Suppose this is often model is here. In our kit is there, high secondary, you might have got. I will see also from um, uh, NCRD. And then uh, if you see that kit now, I have made this my own with the paper cutting also. You see, uh, some the uh, chocolate box was there. And cutting chocolate was there after I had done this. So assessment means. Suppose in the first after time here, the death axis is there, y axis is there, there axis is there, eight parts will be there. All of the parties have to make the after. We took out our problem, we took it, that our base was 20, 25 years back. And I think we succeeded. So in first after one point is there, one point of the point is there, say three, five, six. Point of the point is there, three, five, six. What will be its corresponding point, dominant, in which after minus three, minus five, minus six. So this kind of assessment you can make, and we have given level 12 some question also. Because see, I am saying that when you do that, you are right. I know that chapter, right? Because in the interview when I was asking questions, they were not clear. Then I thought that let us give this question also, let us model also. So if some some if there are some coordinates here, point the part will be first point in one day, one day in second half, then third half, then seventh half, then eighth half. So time for our assessment is also taken. And then distance between two points, and then first class we are teaching this also. Distance between two lines, mm -hmm. then also, and then mm -hmm. and only and higher secondary distance between two points, there is space also. Okay. Distance of points from the plane. Yeah. So all these things I think, then if we use the model, then it will be very easy to be very great up. And so I work up, and then you will see that, what is the beauty of this? Because three dimensional geometry, what we are teaching, as higher secondary state, Daily we are using our first floor, down floor, first floor, second floor, third floor. And same thing when we are asking an interview, PGT, PGT, our principal, our professor, we are on air, on air. I am again not criticizing this model. I, I saw my teacher who taught me university. And he told Lukum Singh, I taught 25 years without knowing this is the shape of the open. And he asked me, I say, yeah, but that means. So we have to again, I say that. I also learn after having RDT. You also find it, learn everything. Then your understanding will be also clear, application will also be clear, and automatically creative thinking, critical thinking, skill based teaching, experiential thinking, all the things will be possible. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Any other question, or uh, can we wind up since uh, we are running out of time? Since uh, we have uh, Parallel uh, presentation also uh, after this session. If uh, any one question, last question, if anybody wants to ask. Good afternoon, sir. I am Nagarshi from MSA in Maths. Uh, sir, you have emphasized yes. that uh, there are many Vedic resources written in Sanskrit uh, that has lot of treasures about mathematical knowledge, uh, but in uh, recent schools we learn Sanskrit as only a language, we learn only about its grammar. So then uh, how can we study Vedic Maths uh, and use it in schools where uh, we use Sanskrit only to learn it as a language and not to discover hidden uh, mathematical treasure? You know madam, Vedic Mathematics, also I also studied Mathematics Sanskrit up to 8th class. And even high school, intermediate, BSc, MSc, no other sense. But the Sanskrit given in Vedic literature, Vedic mathematics, not very hard. The first sutra is Egadi Kirin Purve. Why one more than the previous? Now time is not there, otherwise I could have said why one more than the previous. Ud, Triya, Bhyam, vertically and class wise, Nidram, Nash, Tanam, Dasta, all from my last one. 
So Sanskrit even if you have studied up, studied up to fifth class or eighth class, definitely up to eighth class, then you can that Vedic mathematics you can understand the sutra. Because the sutra is only in one line, 16 sutra throughout 16 line. 13 sub sutra are formally not there, they are not there. But their meaning is very very important for that. Every word has, has meaning. Ek aad kheer kur bhe. So that sutra is used for decimal representation of what the fact. Like 1 by 19. So 1 by 19 if you want to type the Sutra Sutra, sorry, the Vedic Mathematics, they got the care to get 5, 1 more than the previous one. So previous means Jinnam Jinnam later ending in 9, previous number is 1, 5, 1 more means 1 plus 2. So meaning is very very important rather than their Sanskrit. What I felt, I also did not study Sanskrit after a start. So what was Sanskrit I studied up to a start. After a long gap, it was 88. Passed 67, high school passed 67, and 88 point in CRT, and then I went from the Tevi Rao told me that he learned some very much and then only you can apply and parliament question also, and teacher training also. So you do not require, but definitely those students who have studied up to a class, they should be able to apply the Sanskrit in their life. Thank you. Any other question? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, about choosing the subject and therefore if you have the opportunity to choose the subject maybe you not but your peer group or other group will get you better brother sister sanskrit and math science and sanskrit biology and sanskrit in this way if our future learners are often the subject the lot of heritage which is given in our way out i think they could be reflected in our in to our learners also then new type of knowledge will be originated, will be created in India, and then you will see that whatever past glory was there in India, India will be importing knowledge in the future, not exporting knowledge, but not importing skill has been over. Because ultimately, in the past, all knowledge, even in the Vedas, I see that. Oh, beautiful, all knowledge, and all everything Sanskrit abolished, and Sanskrit abolished means then everything has, uh, everything was. Consider that it has been discovered only in Europe and America. Euro American history 230 years, 45 years. European history 500 years. Our history is 5000 years. And therefore, you young learners, if you take interest, or can lot of change you can make, not only in South India, but the entire country and the entire globe. So now, now rise above oneself. Last sentence, my is rise above young oneself and grab the world. This statement is given in the field of One side is asked me. And below is this statement, rise above oneself and grab the world. That of our belief, all of you young students are having. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, without taking much time, since uh, I just would like to uh, conclude this session. And uh, uh, yeah, sir, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank you for your uh, energy level, showing your energy level at this age also. And uh, uh, some uh, some people say that lecture uh, is boring and cannot be agreed in the realm of even teaching at anything. But you are exceptional, sir. You are uh, lecturing, but it is a constructivist lecturing. I would say it is a constructivist lecturing. You are now using different models and different examples. And uh, you started with a statement that your session will be start, uh, showing that how mathematics is an easy, practical and vocational subject. And throughout your presentation, you have highlighted all these aspects, how the teaching of mathematics, especially at your school level, can make uh, using the low cost and no cost material and resources. And your innovation, especially you started with another statement that when you talk about the resources, even students and parents you consider it as a resource. And this is a very important you know, learning for all of us. Uh, most of the time we uh, think that the whole students, they are always students and they don't know anything. And you highlighted that students can also contribute in the process of teaching learning and their uh, knowledge, their experience also is very, very valuable as a resource in teaching mathematics. And you highlighted those aspects also. 
and of course the Vedic knowledge and it is a reservoir of man knowledge for mathematics who highlighted the importance of use of Vedic and uh, how this can be connected in our mathematics teaching and the different uh, resources from Vedic how you can we can utilize in teaching uh, not only the geometry but algebra and arithmetic and all other uh, area of mathematics you have highlighted in your lecture and uh, you have uh, also focused on the mathematical keys, workbooks and the laboratory manuals developed by NCERT and uh, you also highlighted that in some of the school uh, our kids have been reached but not at open. You, you just mentioned and I am also experienced the same thing only uh, two weeks back uh, when I visited Sikkim for uh, the part of a study. Uh, then I just asked the headmaster uh, about this particular thing, do you have NCRT mathematical kit? Uh, headmaster told me that yes, we have. Then when I asked the teacher, the teacher told no, I don't have any idea. But the headmaster might have received it and he might have kept it. Somewhere else. That's what, that was the situation in some of the school, and these are very very crucial points. Uh, take away since uh, uh, as mathematician, we all need to know whatever the materials available. And many of the time, uh, the uh, boxes what we are receiving from uh, bookshops and different uh, places, we we just throw away as a you non know, waste material. But how those materials can be utilized as a efficient tool for teaching learning different concepts in mathematics who have been highlighted sir and the word you have used is very very relevant I, I, I feel the quote you mentioned that teachers use models you, you said that teachers use model but they fail to connect it that is the crux of your lecture sir uh, many of the teachers for the sake of model they are using but they are fail completely failing to connect it with why they are using that particular model to what context and in which way and that is the crux of enough uh, that is the situation of our teaching ready and you highlighted those area also and i am thankful to uh, professor hukum singh ji for spending your valuable time with uh, all our uh, uh, mathematicians all over india for uh, having a wonderful excellent speech on pedagogical resources for learning mathematics and uh, I am also thankful to Professor Srikant Ji, uh, the principal R.A. Mysore, Professor G.V. Gowal, the team R.A. Mysore, uh, Dr. V.S. Prasad, uh, head uh, science department and Dr. Madhu, the coordinator of this uh, seminar and all our colleagues from uh, R.A. Mysore and all other R.A.s and NCERTs and all beneficiaries and participants and experts uh, who assembled in this uh, two, three days uh, mathematics conference and uh, wish you all the best and thank you very much and we are winding up this session. Thank you all. Thank you sir. Thank you Vijayan sir for chairing and thank, thank, sir. Thanks to Dr. Madhu. Thank you, thank you sir. And thank to Dr. Madhu for well organizing this pandemic. A very systematic way, he has done hard work and very prompt to reply and everything. So he deserves appreciation. Although I, I, whether I interact with him or not, physically or not, but he is very dynamic and I think lot of changes he can make in our life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So uh, we will uh, wind up for now and uh, within five minutes we will start our paper presentation, which we are eagerly waiting because. Uh, paper presentations are one of the essential part of the conference because pe uh, many people, they have their research students are there, teachers are there, they are sharing their uh, concepts, what they have studied and uh, what they have observed, what they have felt, uh, all the things they are going to share and there will be a lot of deliberations will be on that one and our students also can participate in that one in discussions. We have uh, three parallel sessions will be going on now. One will be uh, chaired by Professor BSP Raju sir, our former head sir is uh, here. It is in the Cisco Webex. In the same link will be there. Uh, Dr. Raman Nambudri CK will be moderating that session. Another session will be uh, Dr. T. V. Somshegar will be chairing and uh, Dr. Vidya will be moderating that one. It is the Google Meet. 
session 1.2 it will be post as a comment there those who the participants can join there as well as the students and other people they can join if they want to observe any any session they can join and third parallel session will be chaired by dr saurabh kapoor and uh, mr rekhu will be moderating that one so its link also will be shared here thank you we will break for 5 minutes for tea and the sessions will be starting Thank you, sir.
Dyson uh, was working here in the Department of uh, Education in Science and Mathematics as a professor in mathematics and he got retired. Now he is leaving Mysore. I welcome you sir and over to you. Hello, good evening to you all. Thank you Raman. Yeah, well, in the, today we are dealing about mainly of mathematics, almost all 10 papers, maybe one may be added, and all about the foundational numeracy in mathematics for early school children and, and about some problems there and how people have done some, I don't know, the, they have done some research there and there we get to present it. And, um, the real time limit is there and every participant has to follow the time guidelines and there will be 10 minutes of the presentation followed by 5 minutes of discussion and um, you can if you want to ask questions you can ask and if you have 15 minutes for each participant is allotted after uh, around 10 minutes uh, suppose if we exceed 10 minutes we will mute it and I request all the participants to maintain a decorum and uh, follow the strictly their time and uh, follow, the, uh, follow that and I request all of you strictly follow the time because we will exceed, exceed the time even with that time itself we will, it may be concluding by 6 o'clock today even mostly so I think this will be alright and uh, I think with the first participant I think Bahadasha BJ about the title is the Foundation Numeracy and Literacy Prospective, NEP 2020. We will present the paper. Thank you, sir. Good evening. I am very thankful for RI Mahjuru, I am conducting this excellent conference. Myself, Bhagat Vijay, research scholar, RI Mahjuru. I am working on DSV from Dr. Sujatana, RI Mahjuru. My topic is Foundation Numeracy and Literacy Perspective NEP 2020. First of all, literacy means that people are able to read, able to write, to speak, to spell, grammar knowledge, ability to listen. The moral ability to communicate and make a sense of our world that's something that they need. The numeracy that ability to count, ability to solve a problem, ability to make a sense of time, numbers, items, and shape. The ability to use the mathematics to be confident and efficient. That's something that they numeracy. As you know, main ultimate goal of education is to make a future illiterate. Every day we are using the literacy and numeracy. For example, at home, in our family we are using literacy and numeracy. One minute, uh, Adarsha, uh, can you put uh, that uh, presentation into the full screen mode so that it will be more visible? Can you try once? I'm sorry to interrupt. Okay, Better, continue. Yeah, we are using the literacy and numeracy at home at school, at library, on markets, bus stops, and restaurants, etc. Everywhere you see literacy, literacy and numeracy. Some few examples for literacy and numeracy in your everyday life. Searching for the right places, looking for a special product brand, baking fruits and vegetables in markets, taking an item choice, paying with the cashier,
for presenting. So now the platform is open for interactions and questions. So from the participants uh, who listen for this paper presentation, do you have any questions? You can ask. Yeah. 
Brown is a little bit of this distinction, but Brown is a kind of a hand, and the two is probably the future by the one is in the panel. So he wanted to say... Professor, uh, our time is for this session is almost coming to an end. Uh, sir, I just wanted to bring it to your notice. Uh, once, if you give me just a minute, I'll rest. Yes. Okay, madam, one minute you can take, madam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is actually this uh, the work that uh, Adarsh has taken up. This is much before NEP 2020 has oh. come. He already started working on foundation literacy numeracy. And he is uh, using one Radio Emilio approach for the preschool children. He is working on them. But this paper is not about how we are uh, going about teaching literacy numeracy. This is just a conceptual framework of what NEP 2020 from that perspective only it is talked in this paper. His research is in this area, so that I wanted to make it. So uh, mostly it is uh, most about the Plavia method of teaching that is being adopted for teaching numeracy as well as literacy at the uh, preschool level. That is his area of research uh, using a radio Emilio approach that he has used. Thank I just you. wanted this. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you for your time. Okay. So thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, again, the second participant. Uh, what is his name? Yeah, Dr. Rekha Rani Kapoor, please, uh, you say clearly what actually you are trying to do and what you have done. And you have already told your abstract that developing TLM gives examples of TLM. It is sufficient if you just give two, three examples and how they are useful in uh, increasing the numeracy among the primary children, early child, early teaching of mathematics, how it is useful. That is sufficient. Don't tell about the history and all those things. Okay, thank you. Please continue. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Dr. Rekha. The title of my paper is Reflections on Development of Locally Contextualized Teaching Learning Material in Ensuring Others, uh, One minute, madam. Uh, others, you can stop sharing the screen so that the other person uh, can start sharing. Others? Um, uh, sir, I have a prepared PPT. Okay, 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 okay. Anyway, others has to stop sharing. Why? Because the next person may need that one. Others, I request you to stop sharing the screen. Madam, please continue. I have an opportunity to share screen because I am just presenting my paper, sir. Maybe some other person has taken that. I think Adarsha, Dr. Adarsha has taken, was presenting his paper on screen. Okay, madam. He had to stop screen sharing. Yeah, I was requesting Adarsha, not to you, madam. I just interrupted okay, you. I am sorry. Continue, please. Okay, uh, okay. The title of my paper is Reflections on Development of Locally Contextualized Teaching Learning Material in Ensuring FLN. As Dr. Uh, sir has suggested that I need to give uh, examples. Uh, so, I have taken one material development project and the title of my material development project was this is the development of locally contextualized TLM in ensuring FLM. Just in the morning maybe sessions, mein there was discussion and Dr. Hukum Singh has shown various examples of daily life things like boxes and all these pizza boxes, how these boxes and how these locally available things can be used in the field of mathematical teaching. Dr. Vijayan sir has also suggested that students' experiences also uh, important contribute a valuable learning resource in teaching learning process. So my paper is on the similar lines, so the development of teaching learning material. So right now we have developed certain activities, so I am giving examples of activities. <coughs> uh, these activities are uh, pertain to class 1 and 2. Gatigiri hai kabar se duga. Kaksha pratham anumanit samay sima 30 se 40 minute ki hai. और गतिविधि का प्रकार है सामूहिक कक्षा कक्षा इट इज अ ग्रुप एक्टिविटी और जो हमारे जो आई हैव टेकन डेवलपमेंटल गोल्स एज अ मैन हैज बीन प्रिपेयर्ड बाय निपुण जो हमारा निपुण नेशनल एक्सक्यूज मी अदर्स आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल अदर्स टू कीप योर माइक म्यूटेड बिकॉज़ इट इज डिस्टर्बिंग द प्रेजेंटर मैडम प्लीज कंटिन्यू एफएलएन डॉक्यूमेंट हैज बीन प्रिपेयर्ड बाय निपुण भारत एंड बाय एमओई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन there are three. Uh, first, other participant who please uh, 
mute your mic. So FLN document has presented three developmental goals. FLN developmental goal one that the children maintain good health and well-being. Developmental goal two children become effective communicators. And developmental goal three is the children become involved. Madam, uh, please unmute yourself, madam. I'm sorry. When the all participants are muted, you also got muted, madam. It's okay, sir. I have unmuted myself, sir. Okay, please. please. So, uh, uh, I was saying that uh, FLN document has been prepared, and as we know, FLN document is a recent document in the field of FLN, and it has shown there are three developmental goals that need to be taken care of. So my activities pertain to these three developmental goals and the emphasis is on the development of locally contextualized TNM. So right now I have prepared activities. This is the material development project undertaken by SCRT Daily. So I am the project coordinator of this project. And in the next year, I am going to develop, it is in the pipeline, it is in the process, I am going to develop integrated teaching learning material kits in the field of Hindi, English, Urdu and Punjabi. In Delhi, all these four dialects, all these languages are used. So right now I have prepared activities in Hindi, so I am uh, sharing those activities. Gati Vidhiya Kabar Se Juga, Kaksha Pratham, Anumani Samet, 30 Se 40 Minutes, or it is a group activity. Jo is me adhikam prati phala jise vidyarthi ke liye aage aur piche ki sankhya batana. Jab hum numeracy ke concepts kar rahe hain, FLN ke concepts kar rahe hain, jisme hum kya rahe ki bachcho ko jo numbers hai, operations or numbers aani hai. To kis prakar se hum saman hai, jo dhani jivan ki sam, उपलब्ध सामग्री है उसके द्वारा हम किस प्रकार से उनको ज्ञान दे सकते हैं तो इसमें पुरानी माचिस गत्ते का टुकड़ा रंग बिरंगे कागज फेविकोल और स्केच पेन आवश्यक सामग्री है तो शिक्षक सभी पुरानी खाली माचिस पर रंगीन कागज चिपकाकर उसे कवर कर लेंगे और फिर उन माचिसों के बाहरी भाग पर 1 से 20 तक की संख्या लिखेंगे अंदर वाले भाग पर शिक्षक आधे भाग में दो-दो संख्या लिखेंगे और उन सभी माचिसों को गत्ते पर चिपका दिया जाएगा शिक्षक माचिस के अंदर वाले हिस्से को स्लाइड करके बच्चों से प्रश्न पूछेगा कि बच्चों बॉक्स के ऊपर कौन सी संख्या लिखी हुई है तो वो ऊपर बताएंगे इस संख्या के आगे की संख्या बताओ बच्चे अपने उत्तर बताएंगे और माचिस के फिर अंदर वाला भाग स्लाइड करके दिखाया जाएगा इस प्रकार से उनके उत्तर की जांच भी होगी और जॉयफुल लर्निंग भी होगी इसी प्रकार से उसके पीछे की संख्या भी क्योंकि हमने स्लाइड में दोनों ही संख्याएं लिखी हुई हैं आगे पीछे तो फिर हम वो स्लाइड करके दूसरी बार दिखाएंगे और बच्चों से इस प्रकार गतिविधि के द्वारा आगे और पीछे की जो संख्या है 1 से 20 तक की ही लिखी है इसमें इस प्रकार से गतिविधि कराई जाएगी इससे बच्चा आरोही और अवरोही क्रम भी सीखता है गिनती सीख रहा है और विद्यार्थी में उत्साह और उत्सुकता की भावना सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट जो है जो एनी ही भी डॉक्यूमेंट बार-बार कह रहा है कि टॉय बेस्ड पेडागॉजी इंडिजिनस लर्निंग प्ले बेस्ड अप्रोच एक्सपेरिएंशियल लर्निंग इस पे एम्फसिस देते हुए बच्चों से गतिविधियों के माध्यम से सिखाना और जो आसपास अवेलेबल उपलब्ध सामग्री है उसी के आधार पर गतिविधियां करवाना गतिविधि संख्या दो आओ भर लो बोलो किसने कितना पाया ये कक्षा दो के लिए है अनुमानित समय 30 से 35 मिनट है इसमें हम बच्चों को मैदान में ले जाएंगे कक्षा कक्ष में भी गतिविधि हो सकती है लेकिन ये मैदान के लिए अच्छी उपयुक्त गतिविधि है अधिकांश प्रतिफल जो मैंने इसमें लिए हैं लर्निंग आउटकम वो सभी डेवलपमेंटल गोल्स में जो एफएलएन डॉक्यूमेंट्स में दिए गए हैं सारे एफएलएन डॉक्यूमेंट में तीन डेवलपमेंटल गोल्स के जो भी लर्निंग आउटकम्स हैं उनको कवर करते हुए ये एक्टिविटीज बनाई गई तो उसमें है विद्यार्थी खेल या कार्य को आनंद के साथ सहयोगात्मक व्यवहार के साथ और आवश्यकता पड़ने पर नियमों का पालन करते हुए नेतृत्व करके सीखता है और इसमें सामग्री जो है कि आवश्यक सामग्री कंकड़ और जैसे ग्राउंड बचे जाते हैं जो उनको आसान से ट्विक्स मिल सकते हैं स्टोन मिल सकते हैं इजीली अवेलेबल लीव्स मिल सकते हैं फेदर्स मिल सकते हैं कंकड़ या टॉफी या विभिन्न आकृतियों के कटआउट भी हम प्रयोग कर सकते हैं इसमें सर्वप्रथम शिक्षक विद्यार्थियों को मैदान में गोल घेरा बनवाकर खड़ा करेंगे या कक्षा कक्ष में बिठाएंगे एक बॉक्स में सभी कंकड़ या टॉफी को एक साथ रख कर इन पंक्तियां ले में गाया जाएगा साथ साथ हम गाने के द्वारा भी गतिविधि को करें आओ भल्लो मुट्ठी बोलो बोलो किसने कितना पाया सभी विद्यार्थी अपनी मुट्ठी में आई टॉफी या कंकड़ को गिनेंगे जिनके पास सबसे ज्यादा कंकड़ आएंगे उसको हम लीडर मानेंगे लीडर वाला विद्यार्थी जो है बाकी विद्यार्थियों की मुट्ठी में भी आए कंकड़ों को देखेगा उनसे उनकी संख्या बारी-बारी पूछेगा विद्यार्थी शिक्षक जो है मिलके शिक्षक विद्यार्थियों की सहायता से ही श्याम पट पर बारी-बारी से खेल खेलने वाले विद्यार्थी का नाम लिखेगा और विद्यार्थी आगे कितने कंकर कि, किसके कंकर कितने मुट्ठी में आ रहे कहने का अर्थ है गिनती की जो संख्या है वो फिर साथ-साथ में उनसे जुड़वाना दो-दो चार-चार बच्चों के कंकर आपस में जुड़वाना इस प्रकार से जमा की भावना तक जमा की भी उनका प्रकार सिखाया जाएगा 
इसी प्रकार से प्रश्न पूछ के कम किसके पास कम किसके पास ज्यादा इस प्रकार से शांत तरीके से कि तुम्हारे पास कितने तुम्हारे पास कितने ज्यादा है किससे कम है इस प्रकार से तुलना करना सीखता है बच्चा तुलना करना सीखता है गिनती करना सीखता है आरोही और अवरोही क्रम में खेल सीखता है और अगली जो गतिविधि है वो है आओ दौड़कर उड़ते और उड़ाते हैं इसमें ये बाहरी और एकल गतिविधि दोनों के रूप में प्रयोग की जा सकती है इसमें बच्चे जो है नियमों का पालन कर रहे हैं तार और गतिविधियों का आनंद लेते हुए खेलों में भाग लेते हैं और इसके अलावा आंखों और हाथों का मानसिक शारीरिक समन्वय और शारीरिक कुशलता का प्रदर्शन करके सामर्थ्य विवेक व निर्णय लेने की क्षमता दर्शाती है इसके लिए जो आवश्यक सामग्री है वो खबारी कागज रंग थैली को सजावटी चीजें और फीता है तो शिक्षक बच्चों से इस बारे में पहले चर्चा करेगा इनफॉर्मेट डिस्कशन कि उड़ने वाली चीजों के बारे में बताएं उन चीजों पर भी चर्चा करें जो स्वयं से उड़ पाती हैं या जो स्वयं से ना उड़कर किसी दूसरे की सहायता से उड़ती हैं बच्चों से बातचीत करें कि वो उड़ना चाहें तो उन्हें किन किन चीजों की आवश्यकता होगी और फिर यहाँ पे चर्चा जैसे आएगी तो बच्चे पता हवाई जहाज पक्षी इत्यादि की तरफ हम उनकी चर्चा को निर्देशित कर सकते हैं फिर बच्चों का ध्यान चर्चा के माध्यम से सभी उड़ने वाली चीजों में समानता पैनी चोच किस प्रकार से हम लेकर जा सकते हैं अब हम बच्चों को हमारी कागज देकर उनके कहेंगे आप हवाई जहाज बनाएं बच्चे हवाई जहाज बनाते हैं और इसके लिए हम बच्चों को डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन भी दे सकते हैं कागजों को मोड़ के बच्चे पतंग भी बना सकते हैं अब हमें इसके बाद एक शुरुआती बिंदु या रेखा निर्धारित करके बच्चे को लगभग बीस मीटर दौड़ कर शुरुआती रेखा पर छलांग लगाकर की आप हवाई जहाज इस पर फेंकें कि वो सबसे ज्यादा दूरी पर जाकर उड़े तो बच्चा फेंकेगा और वो हर एक बच्चा अपनी गतिविधि को करेगा इससे हम बच्चों से जानेंगे कि कम और अधिक दूरी क्यों गया आपका हवाई जहाज अधिक दूरी पे कम दूरी पे किसका कम दूरी पे गया किसका अधिक दूरी पर गया यू हैव वन मोर मिनट अब बच्चों के पास हम इसको छोटे आसान तरीके से बता सकते हैं कि तय करने के तरीके बालिश भी है पैर भी है कदम भी है लेकिन अगर हम कदमों से बच्चों से कदमों से तय करवाएंगे लेकिन कदम की जो बच्चों के कदम है वो अलग अलग होंगे तो फिर शिक्षक बाद में फीते की आंसर आप कुछ कह रहे हैं जी सर सर ऐसा लगा मुझे किसी ने कोई इंस्ट्रक्शन दिया व्हाट यू आई नॉट अंडरस्टैंड कुड यू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश सर आई थॉट दैट समवन हैज इंस्ट्रक्टेड मी नो आई आई वाज टेलिंग वन मोर मिनट इज लेफ्ट फॉर योर प्रेजेंटेशन ओके यू वर इंस्ट्रक्टिंग मी टू वाइंड अप माय प्रेजेंटेशन इन नेक्स्ट वन मिनट यस आई वाज टेलिंग रिक्वेस्टिंग यू नॉट इंस्ट्रक्टिंग ओके आई ओवर योर पॉइंट तो इस प्रकार से बच्चों को बालिश पैर कदम बच्चे करेंगे तो उनको बताएंगे कि फीते की सहायता से जब हम होता है तो उसके द्वारा अधिकतम और न्यूनतम दूरी का कॉन्सेप्ट और फिर हम बच्चों को विद्यार्थियों की सहायता से फीते की सहायता से दूरी माप पाई जाएगी इस प्रकार से कई गतिविधियां और एक गतिविधि है कैरम की द्वारा कैरम के दो तीन गतिविधियां कैरम बच्चों के लिए स्पेशल बना के कैरम बोर्ड बनवा के इस प्रकार से बच्चों को गिनती जमा घटा और किसके पास ज्यादा किसके पास कम इस प्रकार की ध्यान करवाया जाएगा इस प्रकार से विद्यार्थियों के हाँ प्रत्येक बच्चे ने कितने आपने जीती गई उसके पास इस प्रकार तालिका बंद करवा के करवाया जाएगा इसमें जो मुख्य भूमिका है व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ टीचर इन एंश्योरिंग एफ एल एन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लोकली कंटेक्चुअल टीएलएम को लेकर हम क्या करते हैं वो सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट ये है कि जो टीचर्स हैं कि दे आर फर्स्ट जनरेशन लर्नर्स एंड दे आर स्टूडेंट्स हु डोंट हैव एनवायरनमेंट ऑफ लिटरेसी एंड न्यूमरेसी एट होम लेकिन उनके पास एक इमीजिएट एनवायरनमेंट नहीं है लेकिन उनके पास एक अपनी भाषा है दे हैव देयर ओन वोकेबलरी एंड मैथमेटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट आर एवरी वन इन डेली लाइफ चाहे हम शॉपिंग करते हैं चाहे हम न्यूज पढ़ते हैं बिल आता है घर में तो दे आर स्कैटर्ड इन एवरी वेयर कैलेंडर है तो ये जो गतिविधि का माध्यम है इसका है कि जो कक्षा घर में घर में जो आसान तो उपलब्ध सामग्री है स्ट्रो है बोतल है खाली गत्ते के डिब्बे है कागज के डिब्बे माचिस के डिब्बे और जैसे बटन है इंडिया है वेस्ट बैंगल्स है दुपट्टा है तो इस प्रकार से हम किस प्रकार की सामग्री का प्रयोग करते हैं गतिविधियों का निर्धारण कर सकते हैं और विद्यार्थियों को हम किस प्रकार से एंगेज कर सकते हैं कि वो उसको दैनिक जीवन के साथ एक सामंजस्य बना सके दे कैन मेक कनेक्शन विद डेली एंड सोशल लाइफ एंड कल्चर कॉन्टेक्ट एंड दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स इसी प्रकार से स्कूल में कम्युनिटी रिसोर्सेज के रूप में कुम्हार बड़ई माली या लोहे का काम करने वाले जो सामुदायिक संसाधन उनको भी कक्षा में बुलाया जाना और उनके द्वारा बनाए गए विभिन्न आकार की वस्तुओं का प्रदर्शन करवाना कि जैसे कि कुम्हार के भी कई बर्तन होते हैं उनके भी आकार बर्तनों के आकार के बारे में चर्चा की जा सकती है तो इस प्रकार की गतिविधियों को प्रमोट करना बहुत जरूरी है धन्यवाद are interested to ask questions to unmute yourself and ask questions please
No one is there? Hello, madam. Uh, just I, will, I want to ask you, how is it different from the TLM prepared earlier? Sir, TLM earlier prepared, that is good thing. Like, but uh, we can see the difference in the TLM. Kabar se jubar bati bhi thi, ek rajya mein bhoot achche se ki gai. HSTP project ke baare mein aap libari dhoa, Hoshankabad science teaching project, but ye kisi kisi area mein kiya gaya. Ye jo project hai, it is my, jese daily base hai, locally contextualized. I have earlier told you, dhimi mein chaar bhaasha hai kudyo ki jati hai, Hindi, Angreji, Urdu, Purple jati hai. Okay. Which is Jamiya and Kakti Bad we use in Jamiya, Punjabi is on the one side. There are 11 districts in Delhi. So basically all these TLM and TLM kits will be prepared in four languages. Hindi, English, Urdu, Kakti. Okay, okay. Okay, but, okay, you have taken up the project and you have delayed. But how practicable that all teachers will follow these things? Is it possible? You feel, is it feasible? Uh, sir, uh, sorry, I couldn't. Uh, you have to please repeat. I earlier understood the question, but uh, uh, right now you, what you have said, please, you are requested to repeat the question. Hmm? I request no, no, Madam, what I mean is, uh, as a project, you have done it, it is wonderful. It's really good. No, it's that is running. No, no. The activities but, are developed. Yeah, you have done the activities. But is it feasible in an ordinary situation as classroom where there are some, so many students are there and the teacher is, can he, can he implement the project which you have undertaken? Is it possible? Yeah. Yes, we are we yeah. are preparing this and we basically this is also in the alignment of ECC kit and manual. ECC's kit and manual has been, has been prepared. Okay. ECC means this is the foundational stage, last stage. Foundational okay. stage has been divided into three stages. Okay. Take it, take it. Take My project is the last class one and two. Yeah. And the earlier stage is for one and one plus two stage. Uh, ECC kit and manual has been prepared by SCRT. So this is the, in the alignment of other things. No, no. This yeah. is take it, take it, man. Okay. It's all right. But generally what I feel is that uh, even in CIT prepared so many TLM and all, but when it comes to classroom, they follow the same board method. Okay, anyhow, just uh, anyhow, it's good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right, the TLM kits are prepared, but they are not being used by the teachers. There is another thing, proper orientation and teacher handbooks are also required. Okay. How the teacher, all the things are, it is very simple. When the teacher makes exponential learning uh, possible in the classroom, there are many things available in the classroom as well. Okay. Nothing uh, like in the, uh, in the school as well. In the school playground, there are so many things that we can do and okay. experiment. Okay, madam, thank you, thank you. The third one is a uh, Mansi Pokli. NCRT Foundation, Humorous and Meaning in the Road Ahead. Uh, yes, sir. Good evening, everyone. Uh, sir, is it Madam, I just I want to tell you that you have told that you have defined Foundation Numeracy. Has it not been defined in uh, uh, NC uh, 2020, NEP 2020? Next thing is you have told that components of Foundation Numeracy and uh, provided a roadmap. So just to tell what is the definition you have coined and what are the components and what is the roadmap you have provided to achieve these aims. Okay, uh, okay sir, so should I uh, show my PPD or should I just answer your question? Well, what, uh, should I just go with the uh, definition? Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so, my paper is Foundational Numeracy, its meaning and the road ahead. Uh, before, we start, before we try to attempt uh, defining Foundational Numeracy, I have tried to map and uh, see the evolution of the term Foundational Numeracy from previous policy frameworks. Uh, the way our policy makers have seen uh, Foundational Numeracy or early numeracy to say, I think that impacts a lot on what our children learn in our classrooms. So when we look at national policy and education, 1986, the way it has defined uh, foundational numeracy, though the term was not there as foundational numeracy, but the meaning of numeracy was assumed in literacy. So it has defined literacy, and in that it has mentioned that reading, writing, and ability to, uh, and when children are able to perform four basic operations, that comes under uh, literacy. So the way it has looked at numeracy is very different to what we are looking now. It has achieved, uh, it has focused on the achievement of minimum learning levels and the curriculum for mathematics included only numbers and four operations with basic geometry. 
but it lacked the meaning of numbers and then other mathematical competencies like logic, problem solving abilities, visualization, generalization. It lacked uh, the actual meaning, the essence which we are looking at now. But when we look at national uh, curriculum framework, it shifted the focus of mathematics from narrow goals, which involved the know-how of how to do mathematics, to higher goals, that is, in, uh, mathematization of child's thinking. It recommended child-centered thinking with concrete objects. It, uh, the paper, uh, the national curriculum framework, uh, was in a sense uh, followed the spirits of foundational numeracy that we are following even now. It actually considered that in which way is the uh, numeracy ki knowledge de ja sakte it defined very clearly usi se aaj hamari jo mathematics ki jo kitab hai ncert bana raha hai i think uh, ncf 2005 played a very important role in that it also focused on inculcating number sense rather than following fixed algorithms to find one particular answer but when we now look at national education policy 2020 it is the first uh, policy that explicitly used the term foundational numeracy and it suggested that the goal is to overcome the learning crisis that is already existing in India. And it defined that children need pre-numeracy and pre-literacy as solid foundational stages for learning. Principle of learning according to NEP is to provide a solid foundation in counting, arithmetic, problem solving and mathematical and logical thinking and being created. So the way it has defined foundational numeracy is way different than what we have been following from so long. National education policy has focused on visualization, generalization, and uh, logical thinking. The components of uh, foundational numeracy that has been defined by different Bharat is that it includes pre-number concept. Now that we have start included pre uh, preschool years Bal Vatika, uh, we have to make a curriculum that involves not just one, two, three, four, and recitation of numbers, but also pre-number concepts, the actual early numeracy skills that we have been ignoring from so long. Uh, Pre-number concepts, number and number of uh, operation on numbers, measurements, shapes and spatial understanding, patterns, data handling, and mathematical communication. Now, I think uh, it's a very, really, I take it as a honor that mathematical communication ko ab jab hum importance de rahi hai, to instead of uh, taking mathematical communication when algebra is introduced, now an early numeracy of foundational stages if and including mathematical communication. I think it's a very important thing that uh, NEP 2020 has included. Now we have to understand that mathematics has its own language and given its own space and making it as a component, I think it's a very great step. Uh, but how we are going to introduce uh, foundational numeracy in our textbooks, I think in various perspectives we have to understand that what are the all the other perspectives that takes into consideration early numeracy. So there are three views that I have taken here. Cajetian views, German journalistic view, and Corbin Young uh, world views. Uh, there may be other perspective as well, which you might not find here. I have tried to uh, take some broad perspectives here. So the first perspective, that is Cajetian view, focus on logical mathematical foundations of the development of number sets. We actually believe that number sense is the synthesis of conservation of numbers, classification, and simulation. So according to Piaget, the mathematics curriculum should consist of one-to-one -one correspondence, matching, and sorting instead of recitation of numbers or counting. But uh, general minister's view on early numeracy includes how to call, uh, it actually defined five principles. Unko do groups how to count principle and what to count principle. So the first principle that is one to one principle means that uh, when children are counting, they in a group, uh, like there are a number of objects that are kept in front of a child. So child points at every object and recite numbers. So the pointing of object on each object is essential. So in early years, children do skip sometimes, uh, like they count either one object two times or they skip that object. So that one to one principle defines that each object has, has to be counted in a group. The second uh, principle states the stable order principle. Uh, that means the recitation of numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4. The order will remain The third principle, that is the cardinal principle, that defines that the last number uh, of the group actually defines the number of objects in the group. So if I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the, five, uh, the fifth object that I pointed out, it also means that that are the number of objects in the group. Abstraction principle. 
that's how you principle uh, that actually means that children not just need to count objects that they can see or touch, they can also count objects that are abstract, that they may not be able to see or hear. The next is the order in relevance principle, uh, that it does not matter if you count the order in which you count, like uh, if I take three objects in front of me, it does not matter that if I count the first object as the first, I can take count it as the second object. But it is different on the table order. In the table order principle, that means the recitation of numbers in the sequence of numbers. The, while the order in irrelevance is the order in objects that are placed in front of us. The next view that is Cobb and Cobb, Yakel and Woods view gave importance to socio-cultural aspect of learners. Uh, children, according to them, children begin to use first for numbers since they are both exposed to those numbers. So according to Cobb and Yakel, the socio-cultural aspect of the child is very important. So more we are exposed the more we expose the child to certain numbers, they are more exposed to them, they are more able to use them. So, our aspas ke context ka bhoat impact karta hai. The next thing is the counting skills develop uh, in a hierarchical order. That is, when only when lower skills are adequately developed, only then higher skills can be developed. So, these are the various perspectives that I took. Now, coming to uh, your question, how I have tried to define it, I have tried to define it in the same way that we uh, we do not need to consider early numeracy as just topic about numbers. We need to understand that early numeracy involves other skills as well, which involves patterns, measurement, shapes of spatial understanding, and understanding that the generalization of patterns and mathematical communication. That's how I have tried to define early numeracy. Foundation. When we look at Hippon Bharat, it has also stated the basic maths the thoda sa focus hai. But it ha, in components, it has included all that would have all of the express here. When we talk about the road ahead, so the first two things that we need to do in moving ahead the foundation of the is the textbooks. I will take an example. So, we have class 1 textbook. So, we have numbers this way se introduced. Kiya gaya hai. First, they have talked about one to one correspondence like number of objects and a number. So, 3 to 3 say like a cup with a saucer, uh, it has introduced one to one correspondence. But when you move to the next page, it has included the recitation of numbers through poems. But I think that with this perspective and with new education policy, uh, we need to develop, uh, we need to change our textbooks according to the new idea. We need to include not just one to one correspondence, but also classification, seriation and also counting principles and the others perspective that children learn in the social cultural aspects. Their cult, uh, uh, stories from them and literature. Since it's a foundation literacy in numeracy, we have taken Yeah, one, one more. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one bit more. Don't you sure, think sir. that already our NCRT books have all these things? Yes, sir. I understand that NCRT has taken a very good perspective. No, no, but, now, but, but you are saying that we have to Rewrite the books in a different way, yes, you are saying, no? Yes, sir. That I also am saying. I am saying that, yes, our textbooks are good enough, yeah. but we need to take a larger perspective. We have included literacy and numeracy in this new education system. Okay, then what, so is, now, right. uh, what is the roadmap you are given? Uh, so, the two roadmaps that I have, uh, uh, the two yeah, steps that I have mentioned here in my paper is that one textbook development, redefining of textbooks, and teacher, teacher education. Well, I think that no policy will ever succeed if we will not change the uh, teacher education system. These are the two steps that I mentioned in my uh, paper that these two things need to develop only then our, our policy on education will be successful in our Thank you. Now it is a time for uh, interactions and questions. People who are, who are interested to ask questions, they can unmute and ask the question. I got there's no questions. So uh, now we'll uh, proceed to the next topic. Is it up? Sir, any suggestion? Yeah, tell me. Sir, any suggestion from your side? 
No, I, I find that, uh, of course, uh, you said that you have defined and all those things. Anyhow, you are an NCRT employee. And the next time when the textbook is writing, and, uh, I mean, you can give your inputs. I, I don't know, I say, because these concepts of numeracy and all those things, even if you, see, if we say that you know, problem solving, numerical abilities and all, even in the absence of teaching, the students has their logic in their mind and they will develop it. If you observe a small child, something like a four, five years onwards, you can always find in the, in the house itself, he has a logic and he will tell actually some of the numerical numeracy and all those things. Yes, sir. In, in course of time, when he is having a different experience in the home environment itself, before going to school, he himself tells that actual number, how many you need, you want more number, even seriation, I mean in the sense that how many, he starts counting the fingers, because he will, you said no, one-to-one -one correspondence. He will, yes, uh, suppose he has, he, I, I have ordered an uh, object for after five days, you will get it, then he starts keeping five fingers, every day he will be closing one finger daily. That itself indicates that he has, you know, it's a good attempt, but uh, okay, you know, you can give your input, I think next time there when you are, uh, when the NCRT is going to change the textbooks, I think it will be helpful for us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Okay. Next uh, talk. Madam, Madam, Anji. 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 Yes. Anji, sir. Anji, sir. Anji, sir. You are uh, mentioning about uh, socio-cultural TPP from uh, uh, social by contextualizing it socio cultural aspects. Am I right? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, how do you how do you think that we can contextualize you know from a historical perspective? For example, if you're teaching the, if you're interested in calculus or if you're interested in another field, why would we uh, go back to say how uh, the Newtonian uh, ideas developed? And, uh, you know, uh, how is the uh, ideas from campus done uh, by, by the most, uh, uh, you know, trying to figure out uh, the motion of the bodies around, uh, uh, you know, the solar system, the planetary dynamics. Or, for example, you know, uh, even coming down to uh, the Indian context about how uh, the number system develops in India, you know, big sub stuff historical basis to it. Which sets of context to for history? Uh, a bit of inspiration for children, but you know, to have uh, these developments taking place in India and so the nation past. But also uh, about how the origins actually happen. You know, how do you think that they are relevant? You know, why is it that uh, pedagogies don't actually count? But I want to teach it. I need to present very brief. You know, have some teaching experience. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Hello. Um, sir, I think your idea is very relevant. Now that we have included vocational literacy and numeracy, we can take this idea when we introduce numbers through stories. And I think this is something that we can also include in NCRT textbooks that how zero came into the place. Zero is one of the biggest uh, thing that India has found. So, so uh, even the Newtonian idea that you said. I think uh, these stories can be molded into some simple literature, uh, literature repositories for kids, which they can explain and they can gain a lot through. And children love reading stories. I think any concept, if introduced in a better way through stories, will be great for our kids as well. So I think this can be done, this can be taken as an initiative by NCRT itself, where they rewrite the textbooks through and I don't say that everything should be uh, taught through stories. Yeah, okay. We are uh, running short of time. If this session is time Sorry. exceeded. Okay. I just want Sorry. to bring it to your notice. Yeah. Yeah, we will go for the next session. Yes, sir. Trisha Banerjee, uh, issues and challenges to mathematics education with reference to foundational numeracy. Madam, uh, I want, Madam, no? Trisha Banerjee. Okay, you said your findings are large people teacher ratio, lack of trained teachers use of conventional curriculum and textbooks, lack of knowledge of teachers in using modern techniques, language barrier among teachers and students. This for them even earlier also, most of the problems are because of this thing only. Only thing is, how to overcome these difficulties will be a better part of it. Anyhow, yeah, you can directly come to that. Okay? Okay. Please. Yeah, yeah. 
Madam, could you please speak a bit louder?
because uh, then uh, the people who are listening they will be confused whether to read the text or listen to your presentation so if you make it as a bullet twice I, i'm not i'm not an expert but still i felt so i thought of telling you sharing you so that you will be benefited out of that and the font size also can be slightly bigger just for bringing into your kind notice thank you madam okay. Thank you so much. And uh, next we'll pass on to the next topic, Dr. B. S. Sudhidra. Sir, you have told, you have given that figure out the logic with knowledge of current and uh, previous. It looks the um, beautiful. And um, mass phobia can be removed. Elimination of mass phobia is really good. We would like to listen to you from you that um, with a small illustration that may be better because. Uh, so much of uh, ideas cannot be put in a 10 minutes of time so better is that be brief and clear uh, i mean clear so that dr uh, chilla so that uh, participants can be able to get benefit out of this thank you sir please uh, you are uh, muted actually you can unmute and speak we are not listening now excuse me you are not audible you are not audible you can you have to mute yourself uh, unmute 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 i is unmute actually but it's okay it is unmuted but still we are not able to hear anything Can you speak something? we are not able to hear you uh, one thing we will do we will go to the next speaker and uh, come back to you by the time you can check your audio connections and other thing and make it ready uh, sorry we are not able to hear as of now dr uh, lakshmi sujada we are not able to hear you we will come back to you after the next speaker by the time you can make it ready Next one is uh, Sa Saadana Kulyalka Vidya Pratishtana English Medium School, bridging NEP and Mathematics Education for English Medium Learners. Bridging the NEP and Mathematics Education for does medium? I know I have my own doubt. Does medium will affect the learning of mathematics at a at a early age? You know we are interested in this. Can I start, sir? Please. Cut, cut. What are the problems you tell us? Yes, sir. How you can overcome those difficulties? Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, you are audible. Yes, yes, you are audible. Please continue. Yes, sir. Is my screen visible now? Oh, yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sharing, sharing is good. Yes, sir. Fine. Uh -huh. Good evening, all. Uh, I am Mr. Sadhna Mulyalkar. Indian math teacher at Vidya Pratishtan English Medium School, Vidya Nandri Baramati. Uh, here in this project, we have tried to put what we have understood about the... ...and you have... So, that is... Uh, I will try to look into the question of... Uh, Uh, English, I mean, you know, not well known how to do that. If someone follows, anyone follows uh, Lady Bird series, then English can be learned very easily. Whereas uh, for mathematics, I have to find out how to go about it. So I searched how the way things are about. Uh, following the Lady Bird series, I try to find what are the common words that uh, is mathematics and math for one to uh, ten people uh, read. So I have made this analysis, and I found it is only about six fifty words. So how? Yeah, yes. Uh, so the the method yeah, is a is a solution uh, to the uh, problem often called as uh, mass phobia. So my work uh, is a solution to this uh, four cap uh, method. It's a solution to mass phobia. Can you explain, please? So what is 
logic with knowledge of character previous. Next slide, please. So, to, uh, to do that, uh, I try to define what is my process itself because there are so much uh, things coming around. So, I said everyone can do mathematics. Mathematics is nothing but mental ability to hack the equations uh, with multiplication, additions, their inverses, uh, character in sequence. There is a sequence to way to do that, and you are, uh, and everyone has a mental ability. Everyone has it. That is the logic. Is it the required logic software is inbuilt in everyone at birth by God. So it's only the question you want to have to use it frequently. What basic difference and importance is that everyone can do math. So the question now in the mathematics is cap. In the fourth cap, fact, cap comes into the picture. So the mathematics is one subject where one has to know the previous year's activity, what has been done. Which may not be required in other social sciences or uh, in Christian literature. You can know uh, history without knowing the modern history, without knowing the ancient history, just like that, etc. Whereas it's mathematics, it's not passive. And once you know, that is to say, I've given here an example, it's about you take the fifth standard uh, subtraction example that you say you need to know is it a five digit, you should know how one does it, it's four digit, and in third standard it's three digit. Second standard is two digits in first standard is one digit. This is how they structure the, the methods are taught. So it is simply IT. Every subject is big media, the science, technology, engineering, uh, arts, uh, and this is to be done. As well as post COVID 19, we feel even finance itself becomes part. What is a uh, unique in my approach is that. What are these max side words and phrases? Some people call keyword, but I use the word max side word because the moment you read a question, you should click in your mind. When you read, you are missing the words, and those words must click into your mind. That's the wrong place to work. So that's why I call side words and side phrases. A simple example of side phrases is uh, <laughs> in a right angle triangle. So then what you know it's a what is the uh, right angle, what is the triangle, what is 90 degrees, what the angles, things like that should be clear to that. So <laughs> how many words ones need to know? Just like this. Uh, so I found out that uh, by fourth standard one will know something like 112 words, by tenth standard they come to know about six forty words. And that is you need to know maths vocabulary, you need to know only oh, about 650 words in a 10 year span. You should not at all be giving them. This is the argument I think everyone can learn. And one need not know everything. At these standard level, they should know so much vocabulary. It's something like 170, 200, 250, 300, 400, like it comes. So then, it's so difficult. The only important thing is that the next slide. Uh, when you are trying to solve the problem, the first thing we say is that read the math question clearly. So to read, you have to understand what those words mean. That's why the side concept of side words and phrases comes into work. And the logic one, with the result of addition or subtracting phrase and multiplication things. And after that, you have to rebuild your answer from what has been given. So this is God, this of forty, write the answer. That is answer writing, I call it is building or reconstructing from facts. So these are the four steps. Uh, the other way around for many people, because I have to know, reach all those who cannot be well spoken, that is in a distance learning mode, then I say I uh, give him in a letter set. First step one is this, you have get something to read answer. Step two, I know this. What is the reason you do this? Uh, step three, like this. So, uh, 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 so I have a multiple uh, step problem, a uh, four marks problem or six problem. I said, well, steps you get answer is fine. This stuff automatically my approach. So, this is not the textbook. Next slide, please. So, when you have to do all these structure things, etc., I want it's almost necessary to reformat all of my steps. In a way that what I call it as a learner's success 
sector system. I was working in an open university system. My responsibility is to have more enrollment coming to the system of the higher education. A more enrollment can come to the higher education only when students from the school level pass. So I had to go back to the school level how to improve things in the area of mathematics. English was already more follow the universities. So I have given a format which is easy to uh, see. Four column format. Uh, one is the right color, green text. Left side is that you have to remember previous years one something you have to say or uh, where it is applied and the bottom says what are the new site words etc. Or you can give an answer to the question and more. Although this format is, uh, it, it is a challenge for writers to put it in this format, but it will be of immense study and help to the students. So, next slide. So, after having this study, that comes always the question comes where the maths is applied. I call it the situation of maths. For example, we remember the quadratic equation whether the root is negative or positive, which one you take. That depends on the physical situation. Although, mathematically, both roots are alright, but the physical you take only the one which is relevant. Likewise, Example, every one of us have enjoyed in our school days or even our every child is the bicycle problem. When you look into the bicycle problem, you can see there are problems that can be solved from the KD level to the post graduate. One is a certain physical, the different angle you see. There are so many things. The geometry is there, the <laughs> distance travel, etc. Et and the physics is there. So the second one I say is that in areas etc. there is a component called at a higher level you have uh, uh, there are how do you bigger areas. I told you mathematics can be used to improve this thing. So if we have most packing problems, uh, uh, narrow roads, which can't parking, etc. But that can be improved by using uh reversing the thing. So the party is 60 to call 60 party side. Based on the same path we say, but the length will become the width of the room becomes like that. What we call will help us to reduce the attractive problem. So suppose you use 1.62 as the golden age of dimension sites or plots, then you will have a beautiful structure what people temporize in the UN clinic, etc. Or what was there in Athens, Greece. These are all you see in the literature. I thought. That we got to it understand. It provided, uh, you know, math also can help people in day life, I call it. That is uh, leading a healthy life. That is, you should have building of everything. You want to control math, you get some life. So that is to say, it should not be the shadow of what we think on uh, this is question of heights and distances from what you think technology, but the same thing can, is applicable even for living spaces. So this I have given as an example of where you can see very it can be. Of course, this requires engineers or their top planners to think about it rather than as much. The ones that the public get used to know that the danger is that you see the road should go where a good ventilation, cross ventilation, etc. If a little one goes automatically to the link constructors and work, shape their way to follow the experience. So that's why I call it a big helps. The third one is
I told you should do it in a drink and every day. And uh, we are to avoid all these things. Uh, one mark question, two mark question, there are marks that you can answer. So, yes, uh, suppose you will have you know, multiple choice questions that negative marking should be introduced so that uh, one has to know the subject to get more marks. And more uh, applied maths are in our situation, in situation of maths, then we have uh, situations. So that means you need to scout for uh, 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 problems from other textbooks and other fields so that you get an appreciation of how mathematics elsewhere. Again, as the, in other sections in going around, we are talking about this more of thinking about digital maths, maths using big data, artificial intelligence, photonic computing, that's the entire from uh, electronic computers, what you are doing, photonic computers, and how that's a uh, several times possible than uh, electronic. So when you work on that, business analytics, so all these things can be given small models uh, in the game, uh, in the any different way. starting at 9.30, 9.30 a.m. So I request all to join tomorrow. Thank you all.